Of course, he's not going to be good. And it upsets me because the way the game feels now, Simple would king dominate if he didn't stop. Like, you know, when he came from when CSGO switched, it would be like, I think he would be better than he was in CSGO. That's why I get so annoyed because I'm like, I'm better now at this game. And I was trash at CSGO compared to Simple. And it's like, just please, because I'm a fan of him, you know? Like, I want him to just fucking own people. Best esports art. VIP program and a variety of bonuses. Fast and easy withdrawals. Bet on every possible CSGO matching tournament. As well as any other esports game. Only on 22Bet. Are you tired of your boring old skins? Head to Trade It and trade them for exciting new ones within seconds. With 24-7 support, massive inventory, free giveaways, and low fees. Trade It is the highest rated trading platform in the market. What are you waiting for? Start trading today for a $5 bonus, only on Trade It. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Counter-Strike fans around the globe, welcome back to another episode of HLTV Confirmed, brought to you by 22Bet. Remember to gamble responsibly and trade at .gg if you're in the marketplace for some skins. Head over there, check out what they've got. Now, uh, look, I want the energy this evening from all of you in chat. I want the energy from everybody at home watching on the VOD later down the track because the major, the first CS2 major, is right around the fucking corner in Copenhagen, Denmark. We're only a few days away now, five, six, whatever the fuck it is. It's not too far away. And we're going to get stuck into this evening with a big discussion. Now, I, I want to I bring Prof and Striker into the conversation soon, but I want to knock this one out and meet. No energy you... from us or what? Like, you're, you're asking for energy for everybody. Uh, it's just like, we're the ones who need to bring the energy, you know? I want to keep high energy right now because okay. I, 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 need, I need to say this, and I need to say this in defense of Smuya. The, the amount of comments I read that were negging on the fact that we're having Smuya back on the show, uh. I, want to, I want to just, I want to, I want to say something, right? How many Counter-Strike players are out there who will come on, who will tell us stuff about the scene, who oh, are sorry. actively playing in FPL against the best Counter-Strike players in the world in Europe, not in fucking North America or any of those shit reasons, and, and shit playing well. against these teams who is going to come on, who's going to give his opinion, who's going to speak his mind, who's actually going to be entertaining, which is what we're here to do. Smooja comes on. And people are like, invite these people, invite those people. Mate, we invite every fucking... I almost said the C word under the sun and people either don't reply or don't come on. But Smooth is here. He had a nap. He came on. He is here to give his energy and talk about the major as someone who actively plays top level counter strike. So Smooth, thank you for coming. Welcome to the show. Thank you, man. The player that actively doesn't make the majors. Let's yeah, fucking that's go. That's fine, good. mate. <laughs> you're out there, go. you're shooting, you're in the servers, you got like oh, top yeah, one face it. You're doing yep. all the shit. That's me. I'm a fucking there, boys. Let's fucking go, man. Someone's got to do it, right? And look, it's, oh, yeah. it's not it's not going to be me. Uh, but look, uh, we've got Prof and Striker here as well, of course, the regular panel. Now, uh, Prof, you've been working hard. Uh, that we'll, we'll want to talk about this straight off the bat right now uh, is the fact that the live show, HLTV Confirmed in Copenhagen for the CS2 Major, the tickets are available. Uh, there's a tweet out from the HLTV Confirmed Twitter. It's on eventbrite.com. If people want to go over there and search it, you can find it. Tickets are available. It's going to be Wednesday, March 27th. Uh, from 7.30 to 10.30. What's in store, Prof? What can you tell people? I mean, we're kind of doing what we have done so far. Going to have uh, the three of us, going to have some special guests, going to have some giveaways, a uh, nice atmosphere. People come, have fun. Maybe uh, we'll see which players and talent who's available. That's kind of in the work starting now, now that we put out the, the kind of the venue and everything uh, out there and tickets are out there. We have 120 tickets as of now. We'll see if we can fit in more. We need to like figure out the, the space and then we might add more, but no, no promises. And as it is usually, you know, they go out pretty, pretty quickly. So might as well, you know, jump on that. And yeah, that, that's kind of the, that's kind of the gist of it, right? All right. Well, uh, we've spammed the link to that in chat. If anybody's interested, if you're going to be taking a look at the VOD later and you want to find the link, go for it. So we'll see you there in Copenhagen. Okay, Striker, we're warming into things, mate, yeah. uh, with the major just around the corner. What are you getting up to? What are the preparations looking like? Are you going to be there in Copenhagen the entire time? Are you just coming for the playoffs? What's the, what's the situation? 
No, I mean, I'm I'm going to be covering most of it from from home, and then before the playoffs, we're going to come for the for the podcast. I'm going to stay for the rest of the playoffs. Uh, but yeah, I mean, from 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 editing editing perspective, doing my day to day job is much easier to do it when I'm not at the event where I'm getting distracted every minute of my life. So it's much easier to cover things from home and then just come in for for the finish. Is there anything new in terms of coverage that people can be expecting? I see you guys did some infographics. Reddit loves those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that. We did. Uh, we had an editorial come out. That I literally just released a piece about the 38 rookies. Uh, it's a lot of guys, so we we felt like we we needed to present a lot of these players that are going to be making their first major. So that's released just now. Um, and we have, I think, five more pieces to be five, six more pieces. I think we're going to release over the next um, four days or whatever is left before the major rolls of all of rolls around and uh, one of them's eternal fire for example you know some of these uh some of these stories one of them is about glowing and nine pandas like the the 30 year old star you know so we have we have some 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 little stories that uh, we want to bring to people before the major starts uh, to to start the hype okay yeah. cool. there will be some there will be some video content coming in as well we are working with a uh, known person from the scene let's say that's known that's person not from the scene that's not going to be at the major uh but is not yet known that they're not going to be at the major so maybe maybe that means something to someone that's it okay all right cryptic messages uh well we're not going to do a hot seat with owen here this evening but we will get into the recent news and we'll have a bit of a conversation with where he's at lucas roll the bumper let's get into it All right, well, as the title reads, what's up with Smooya? Smooya, I see you had a bit of a falling out with your team, the Witches. This was a while ago now with the major qualification. What's going on, mate? What's what's the plans? What's happening? Are you just, just streaming? You only have one monitor. I see people want you to get a second monitor. <laughs> I think my second monitor is right here, actually. It's uh, for Twitch chat. But, um, don't you find it distracting looking down all the time on your phone? No, I don't look. I don't. I leave it to the side, and then I read it like if I'm dead or something. I had a lot of troubles in my past teams with being on my phone, so I try not to be on it too much when I'm playing. Um, but I'm doing well. The Witches was fun, but it lasted. I got some uh, good experience, not playing with like the top top players, you know, like kind of helping like up and coming players compete again. It was actually kind of fun playing with one of my best friends in Fear as well, who's moved to Passion UA now, who did have a lot of interest from a lot of top teams. Our original plan was to go to a team together, um, but it comes with him not being able to get out of Ukraine that easy, so it's also not that you know hard to join us, like maybe a top team with him. Um, and I just said to him, bro, I want you to compete. He loves playing with um, UA players. So I said, bro, if you have an opportunity, just take it. Um, he took it, and I'm proud of him and all the boys that got offers after. S-Dime, Cynix, in Sprout and Accred. The only player that didn't get a team was Dragon, who in my opinion was the best player on the team. But I think he has something up and coming with like Serbian players, I, I believe. I hope so, at least. Um, and for myself, I'm just streaming. I've been a little bit lazy with the streams recently because I'm like focusing more on face it and actually improving and because I do want to play in the team again opposed to stream. Um, but I just set up a new stream schedule, so I will be doing Monday to Friday minimum. Because um, when I when I fall out of the stream grind, like I just don't stream because I don't have to. You know, I'm not forced mm. to. I'm not forced to join the server to practice. I'm not forced to go live. So I try to regiment myself to Monday to Friday. Um, so it feels more like a job opposed to like a hobby. Yeah, that's it with me really just grinding away. You go to the Same gym at like one o'clock in the morning every day. I'm glad you asked. I'm still ski. I'm still fat as fuck, but I have been gymming a lot. Like, oh, that's another thing I'm doing. Yeah, working out. But it's like, <laughs> I do go at fucking stupid o'clock. Yeah. You go to bed at like, I, I wake up in the morning sometimes and it's like, I'm going oh. to bed now and it's like six or 7 a.m. And awesome. you're like, yeah, you're going to sleep. What's going on with that? My schedule is so busted right now. Like, I mean, it's the same thing. Like, you say you that have... every time, though. Like, it feels like your schedule's been I'm busted teamless. your entire fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teamless. When, I, when I'm teamless, like, I'm just cooked. Like, of course, I, it doesn't help because my best friend Thomas, who I grind face it with, like, he'll just join TeamSpeak at 3 a.m. and he just woke up and he's like, dude, it's time to game. I'm like, man, I just got back from the gym. Like, fine, let's play eight games. And then I sleep at 11 a.m. Like, it's just fucked. But. It's ready to change. If any teams are interested, I can be wake up at 9 a.m. No problem. Fully focused. That's why playing play. face it in the morning is the worst. You get like a mixture of these like insane grinders and people that don't know what they're doing. And then people Ooh. are just like are seven should have gone to sleep seven games ago and as well. High and shit. Yeah. yeah it's just like I had a couple of them chaos. yesterday. Yeah. The guy openly admitted to being baked as a potato two rounds. And I was like, yeah, this game's Jova. Like, let's just run it down, boys. Go next. <laughs> 
<laughs> give away the yellow. It's all over Red Rover. Yeah, just donate it. But yeah, I'm, uh, that's all I'm doing. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we've checked in and you're here with us tonight to talk all things about the major, but we've got to get through some recent news topics. There's actually been a lot that's been happening uh, in the last week since we did our, our last show. So um, one of the big ticket, and there's a bunch that I've left off here, and I'm sure we can pick up on them if there's anything that I have left off that people want to chat about. And some of them we're just going to breeze through. So uh, first and foremost, Exist returns to NIP. Obviously, he was part of the legendary NIP roster once upon a time, uh, which has Alex, the Spanish in-game leader, and Rez, uh, uh, still part of the roster. I'm going to throw this out to the room. Uh, thoughts, feelings, expectations? I think it's a good step, I would say. I think like the brand of NIP is getting a plus there, regardless of how good Exist is as a coach. I think it's just like a good um, kind of mending of some of these relationships between NIP and the original NIP lineup of like Forest Get Right, Exist, Freiburg, that kind of yeah, there was a fallout between these parties and that left a uh, pretty sh like a PR damage forever for NIP. So I think uh, this kind of signals to everyone that it's kind of a, it's a different NIP. I think that's a good, that's a plus. I also think as a coach, it's not like you could ask for much more for if you want a Swedish guy, right? So I think two plus is there for NIP. Okay. Anyone, anyone else got strong opinions about this move? I wouldn't say strong. I think it's it was always going to be hard for for an IP to get some bigger names on board, especially when it comes to the players. And I think, I mean, it's not like Exist is like some massively sought after coach or anything like that. But I think a lot of people would say that uh, he was a guy that did deserve a, a spot on one of the better organizations or one of the bigger organizations to be able to build his own team, or at least you know to to join a team that's going to be competitive. And for him to be able to do that with an IP, I think it's I think it is a good step for 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 both teams because like realistically, the the biggest team that that uh, Exist could have joined was probably Astralis, and that fell through. Like there were definitely talks, and and it was kind of some, somewhat close to happening, but just fell through. And after that, like I don't know who else he could have joined that would have been, like that would have had the potential to at least grow into into competitive team. You know, so at the moment, at least like uh, looking at the top, you know, whatever the top twenty teams and what coaches they have, you know, there there was probably a lot of movement happening. Do we, do we think there'll be any change with the two players that they've kept? Or do you think he's signed on to this project uh, with the proviso that these players have to stay? <laughs> Chad, let's kick Rez. Um, oh, my thing was wipe the whole board clean. But I like I do, do you think Exist is signed knowing that these are the two players he has to work with? Would we assume I, that's... I don't think like anything is... I think I think they're open to anything realistically if there's a good enough opportunity. What do you okay. think? They should definitely keep them though, right? I don't think Alex had enough of a, I would say, a decent uh, starting situation. I mean, he kind of got thrown into a clusterfuck of problems, and usually the IGL is the first one to get pointed out, but he had no time, no prep, no nothing. And just judging what he did with movie star writers back in the day, I think it's kind of hard to judge him off like this one thing in NIP, in my opinion. I mean, I also played with a guy, so... I have a lot of respect from anyway, but yeah, he definitely didn't have the. When did you play with Alex? What the fuck? When Bobby Star Riders when he was when there I was for a carrying his ass, and then oh, he became an IGL really. and then carried everyone. Bro, I've been everywhere. I forgot about the Bobby Star Saga. <laughs> Oh, I've been everywhere. Yeah, every country, every player. So, so you I think, think it's? I think it's just generally. I mean, obviously, the main guy behind the team is still going to be threat. Like, it's not like Exist was just going to have a clean slate and just be able to do anything that he wants, right? There's still going to be some conversation about what's going to happen uh, with the roster, right? And like, there was obviously some reason why they kept these two two players only, right? And that then mm -hmm. the rest is going to be rebuilding. So, I mean, look, does it mean that they're going to stay 100? I don't know. Like, nobody knows at this point. I think it depends on what's going to become available as well. I mean, like if they have some good opportunities, like there's, there's probably no way that they wouldn't jump on them. But I think the problem is going to be more like getting more players than these three, even like even three players are going to be a problem for them to get with where NIP is at the moment, you know, and be able to commit to the project. Me, do you want to join NIP? I said this should take me, Blame F and SDY. That's what I said this should do. It's decent firepower. Res, me, Bro, Blame F, SDY. They've got some bangers right there. But I've also heard the lineup that they're going to get. Oh, they you know, they try, of course, they try many options. But one of like the potential rosters is uh, a little bit spicy. A little bit spicy. A little bit, how would you say it? A little bit of everything. A little, little bit, bit of everything. everything. Oh, yeah. Like some an everything bagel. <laughs> you could say that, yeah. You could say that. Holy mama. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, very um, 
broad strokes there that we can try and uh, read between the lines of. We learned nothing from that. On what do you think about Exist as a coach? Have you been able to uh, hear much about him through the grapevine from all the players that you talk to? Um, I've literally like never ever had any interaction with Exist besides I once f- absolutely farmed him in, in a pug, and that's unfair because he's a coach, right? So I can't use that against him. He was in good spirits when I found him. I did watch the board back. Uh, he was laughing about it. So it must be like good to have around. If you get him banged in practice, I think he's just laughing about it. Uh, but I think the amount of success that Huruk had before he came and after, it's like not just on the team, right? I feel like he definitely did a lot, whether it be prep. I don't know how much of a leader he can be, you know, behind you. I, I, I don't know him at all. Well, Kaden was uh, a strong leader for Heroic yeah, in that sense, that- right? Yeah, I imagine he has some good things to say for sure. I mean, the guy's a fucking serial winner for like a decade plus, right? He won absolutely everything there is to win. So having someone like that is going to be a plus to any kind of team experience-wise, especially a team that's like Nip, you know, they need someone like that uh, running it. So I think it's good for sure. In a bit, in a bit of a rebuilding phase. Now, Prof, uh, you've come dressed today because you're so happy to see the move of Exist re-signing to NIP that you've got an old school <sighs> NIP shirt on I celebrating the news. Folded, folded from the bottom of the drawer. Let's go. Here we go. 2014. I can oh, barely gross. fit in it. Uh, it's, it's just a great joyous moment for a Swedish Counter-Strike that on this show we have always supported, always be, been big on, always said it's just a matter of time between you know where we are and you know meta sport winning the major that's like and we can see that's happening now we are we are just days away from like glorious swedish counter strike coming back so that's it i'm i'm just super happy now you did bring my attention to a fragbite article prof uh, do you have any any public statements that you'd like to make in relation to uh the the comments by uh, gray khan yeah i want to say i want to say my good friend gray khan I don't know. Maybe he watched like the wrong episode of HLT confirmed. That's the only excuse. Realistically, we we have shit on NIP a lot. There's this tweet that he put out that we don't know what we're talking. Not really that we don't know, but that we don't understand how much talent there is in in Sweden and what's happening. But realistically, um, we have spoken highly about people coming up and that NIP should make a fucking Swedish team or fanatic in this last roster change kind of shuffle. It didn't really happen. And uh, and that's it. I think realistically, Sweden has some like good shit going on. And we saw with the Metasport lineup that there is potential, right? And that's more or less it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the official comment from Prof. Uh, you guys can probably quote him and make another article about it if you'd like. All right. Uh, let's jump gears and uh, move into our next lovely piece of news. Uh, this is to do with Blast and ESL releasing their calendars, which was uh, for 2025, which was like, hours apart. Just the other day, Blast released theirs. Then a few hours later, ESL released theirs. Uh, what does that tell you, Striker, when you see both of these TOs releasing them on the same day, hours apart? That. That was uh, interesting, wasn't it? I feel like there's, the there's definitely some some collusion collusion there. I think there's there is absolutely no fucking way that that was a coincidence. Let's just say that. Surprised they didn't release it at the same time. Um, like because I looked at it as one of two things: either they're in cahoots and they've understood that they're both going to do this at the same time, or uh, blasted it and ESO went, "Oh shit, we better get our fucking dates out there." Lickety split. Um, but uh, it's good to get early information. I know that ESL tends to do it either halfway or three quarters of the way through the year, and we get a whole lot of information about the next blast. We have traditionally been doing this very late, uh, but as we know, with 2025 rolling around the corner, no more partner league, so it's going to be uh, more of an open slather. We really still don't understand exactly how things are going to be functioning in 2025. Asmir, you seem to have like news on everything. Have you heard any rumors on how things might be functioning in 2025? I don't know if I'm going to see 2025, boss. I'm just trying to take it day at a time. I'm, that's a long way away. I'm trying to just win FPL. <laughs> once, okay. Once I get that, uh, I'll get back to you. All right, no well, I've seen the posts and stuff, but I mean, it doesn't really apply to me right now. I'm just trying to get by, you know. Fair enough. Day by day. Now, Striker, we hear different things every now and again, some which uh, seem like they could be true and then aren't true. We want to poke and prod and ask all the questions. I would imagine the people who are most in the know would be the tournament organizers in discussion with Valve, um, but none of the people that I would talk to, I've been able to get any information from. So do you or, or Prof have any uh, any leaks, any information that we, we pot? Like, like, you don't even have to say what you know, but do we, yeah. do we have an idea of the direction that we're going? I mean... 
we just have to have independent tournaments, right? Not, none of this like group stage into play into playoff, into showdown and stuff like that. So like all of these dates that are put out are for independent events. I think this mostly applies to Blast where most of the changes will happen considering their current kind of approach is not going to be able to, to function. But, um, but yeah, I, th I think there, there will be interesting changes that's i heard different things but nothing like really concrete yet uh all i know is that these dates are put out it doesn't really mean just because there's like blast got two weeks that they're going to use fully these two weeks for actual matches that's that's what i'll put out there as well okay i, I want to say something as well and i've been saying this for the longest period of time and i still think this should be the case um if two tos want to run a tournament on the same weekend then two tos should run a tournament on the same weekend I don't it give used a to happen fuck. like that. Yeah, it did. It did. You have to choose between which event you want to watch, right? Exactly. It's kind of fun yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And then if you know the TO is putting up more prize money, or the or we know that this TO has better conditions, they look after the players better, or they have better PCs, or it's in a better location, like then that's how shit's gonna boil down. I don't give a fuck. Like people talking about oversaturation, all of this shit. At the end of the day, if it's open for all the teams to decide what events that they want to play in based off of ranking or based off of however they're gonna get invited or qualify, or whatever, the onus is on them. And then the onus is on you at home as a viewer to decide what tournament you would prefer to watch. I don't give a I fuck if the, we have four tournaments on the same weekend. What the, what the problem there is that you just um, kind of allow whoever has the most money at the moment to destroy everyone else, essentially. Because like, let's say, Joe, you, you make a tournament. Let's say you make a tournament and you announce it. Uh, like three months out, you get sponsors, blah, blah. You book the venue, you do all of these things. Mm. And then like a month after that, Striker comes and he has more money to throw away. And he doesn't really give a fuck if he's like 100 million in the in the debt for this year. He just wants to fuck you. So he's just going to make his tournament double or triple the prize money and invite Bless all you, the teams that are invited to your shit. And, you know, your tournament will end up being kind of you know, kind of shit because but don't, you, don't you lose think this all happened of the best already, Prof? Like, so like, let me use a couple of examples. Um, so one would be Epicenter back in the day. They were I mean, one of the first does, TOs. It does happen, but it's not, does happen. It does happen, but it's not like a good thing <laughs> overall because we're investing as a, as an ecosystem, we're investing money into these, these big events with hope of a big viewership or a return in terms of like, you know, interest. Who is the uh, TO or we the viewer? Yeah. TO, all of the TOs like exist in this ecosystem, pulling out cash from kind of the same sponsors, right? And it's not like a infinite hole. It's kind, it's somewhat of a of a closed circle, I would say. But this but, is this is what I'm saying though, right? Like the things have already happened over the years. Like one TO yeah. will do something. Epicenter came in and they put PCs in hotel rooms as prac rooms. And then yeah. that kind of set the industry standard. Then Ely the came. Person to do that. I'm pretty sure because they did it for Dota That's back insane. in the day. Love. Yeah, and then and then now it's like pretty like ESO and blah. I don't know. I assume blah. Be, before that, we had practice yeah, rooms, but they would be like, I know. They'd all be together. One, one be ECS, curtains separating yeah. them. Yeah, they were shit. ECS, I remember they just had like a big, big practice room for like three or four teams everyone in one big room and then i also remember like e-league had practice rooms but at the they were at, at the, the venue. studio yeah so and so you can only use them in a, like specific times and stuff like that so yeah but then also like when e-league came it kind of changed the way that things were structured for the teams and stuff in certain ways or like and then the, this is the thing this is why i'm interested to see what the conversation is from valve to the tos in what is going to be possible or not possible come 2025 because what you're saying like one of the things that i remember being said and you you can let me know if i'm wrong here because I'm, I'm not quoting off of the text i'm just quoting off of how i remembered but it just has to be made public if if like let's say that i'm a to and i say prof i want your team to come to my event as an appearance fee to come to my event i'm going to give you a hundred thousand dollars it just has to be public that i'm paying you yeah. the money to come to my event right yeah, I mean, they can but, technically still still do it. They can, I mean, this whole, like, I don't know if you've seen the story about the Esports World Cup and like the, the let's say, partnered uh, organizations that are going to be with that. They're going to get some like stipends and stuff like yeah. that, you know, which you, we all know what that means. Uh, like they're going to get some some incentive, you know, to, to, to be in that uh, and to build teams for that and all that stuff. And I mean, all this, they just need to, they, they are still completely within rights, within their rights to, to do it. They just, they do need to disclose it. To and obviously they could, they still need, they still, they cannot uh, guarantee these teams 
participation because of how the new Valve rules work. That's why, you know, we're going away from essentially franchise leagues because you can no longer guarantee your teams the slots because they have to come through the ranking, which is Valve's ranking, not your own ranking. So you can manipulate it, blah, 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 all that stuff. You know, you can still only, you can only go by that or the open qualifiers, you know? So there's like, obviously if there is overlap, you're, like there's going to be a lot of incentive for the partnered organizations, let's say, to still stay with ESL, you know, like let's say there's an ESL tournament going on at the same time as a PGL tournament or like some other mm. um, some other organizer comes in and again decides to do an event, you know, there's still going to be incentives to favor ESL over that through at least for the organizations that are going to be involved in this, uh, in these sort of stipends or, or the partnership with the with the esports world cup which you know they're saying is kind of a separate thing but not it's not really right like it's the same guy who was uh higher up in esl that just basically like shifted Ralph over Rocka. to this project yeah exactly yeah. uh yeah. Who just shifted over to this project anyway i mean that's i'm just i'm just giving some context <laughs> to people that this is still happening they're still technically it's just across a much bigger uh scale on a much bigger scale just because this also goes into other games like dota and blah blah like for League, for Siege. what used to be gamers yeah. 8 what's going to be uh, the Esports World Cup. Yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how that all evolves. Uh, there was a bit of news that came out from the ESLCS Twitter yesterday. It says, today's update to the ESL World Rank has unfortunately been delayed until further notice. An update will follow in due course. Thank you for your patience. Um, what does that mean to anybody? What, what does that mean to you? you that means us. to me that they're probably going to bin their ranking. That's what that means to me. They're going to what, sorry? I think they're going to bin their ranking. I might uh -huh. be well off. That's But that's how I, I read that now. And they're just going to can their ranking and just use vowels. I mean, they still, well, I guess they can, they could do that for the second part of the year and for some of the events that aren't decided yet, but to be fair, there's only a few of them. It's like pro league and, uh, I am fall and that's it. Am I missing something? Or Cologne. You, <coughs> well, I mean, Cologne, they own, they already, they have like a structure for that anyway, you know, so that, that doesn't, they still yeah, use Cologne, rankings. Cologne, for actually, yeah, that's there. true. Like they, they would have had to use the ranking. I don't like, I don't see that happening until they can't anymore because I don't see why they would use another ranking when, when this has been there. Well, um, I feel yeah, what maybe you're using. right. I don't know. That's just my initial thought. I don't have anything to base that off of. That was yeah. just my initial thought. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't say it delayed, right? Like, they they would say, um, yeah. I mean, whatever. Like, well, delayed until feels further like the notice. messaging is a bit weird, huh? Delayed until further notice. I don't know what the fuck that yeah. means, right? All right. Well, that was another piece of news that came out. So we'll see how that one evolves. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's fly through some of these next hot topics. Tyler made some changes. Advent and Kaze are out. They brought up two kids from the academy. I don't know anything about them. Anybody want to raise their hands and pretend like they do? They're not really, I mean, they're not really even making changes as much as that they're actually testing out lineups. Like they literally posted like a tweet, another tweets, I don't know, like yesterday or something like that, where they listed eight different players that are going to be playing in the next match. So it's like, they still have like 10 players on the on the payroll and they have like five five benched people who are just like stepping in and out so i don't think like this is just not over that's all, well, that's Mosey all is i can back say. in the roster <laughs> it's a3-5 still lose mosey is back in the roster he was out it's mercury jam young mosey lyrics and Black yeah but that's that seems like it was just like for some for like one tournament and now they might be going back so uh it wasn't the most uh they have a big roster. Boys. Informative uh, piece of piece of news. No, let's just say. Okay. Well, they have to play in Chengdu, so we'll know soon what their roster is going to be uh, because yeah. they're being Chengdu. All right, we can fly past that. NRG changes. Smooya, maybe here's a team for you, mate. OC seems to be really struggling. You want to move back to North America? I know you loved it there last time. <laughs> Bro, why are you just instigating? If I get, if someone if someone's interested in me, they'll be interested. You have to shit on someone else, even though OC well, has he been is fucking struggling. dog shit. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. he, he's he's play, I thought he was doing way worse than he is. He's doing okay. Like okay, I thought he would go back to the extra salt form when he was like 1.5, like every three months. But he's carrying. Yeah, I think it's um. I, it, it, honestly, I swear, like, the smarter you get at CS, you can't, like, frag that hard anymore. You know, like, the experience he gets from Liquid and, like, he definitely plays better CS. Definitely plays, like, a higher chance to win the round each time. You just, you're naturally going to kill less people because you're not just, like, so raw, right? I think that's why Donk's so good right now because he's just headshotting everyone. He doesn't really have, I mean, he knows what he's doing, but not, like, to the extent. Um, but, yeah, I, pff, I would play that, of course. I also think it's... I don't like this, just bringing in the same people, you know, on the conveyor belt, just fucking the same people every time. Like, I mean, I love, I love automatic, but it's like, bro, like, bro, I can say, uh, I'm going to say, like it's so the same fucking, I mean, is it the Homer Simpson? Fucking, can we like bring up the, just the, the, 
picture of the of the team oh my god yeah lucas whack this one up for everybody what do you what do you see chad (laughs) Uh, holy shit it's four fucking eg guys (laughs) what in the fuck is this shit i mean uh... it's just fucked bro like just give someone else a chance give me and thomas a chance like fucking hell man uh a lot of evil geniuses jerseys huh um, so officially, for those people playing at home, we're looking at the NRG match page on HLTV, if you're audio only. And there's Automatic Breeze, Walco, and Hex all wearing EG jerseys uh, while under the NRG banner. And then one little dark horse of OC in the liquid jersey in the middle there. Um, so just the changes, in case people miss them, Fang out, Daps back to coach, uh, Automatic in, and Walco in. Um, Let's just say, like, what are those changes? Like, you can... you. Nobody can argue that it's a bad thing. Which is which that, one Daps is that? To, Daps went to coach. Okay. He's not playing anymore. I think that was yeah, that's, who that replaced was him. Gonna be a good thing. Walco. Yeah, exactly. Like, let's fucking keep it moving, please. We need some fucking. It's NRG. We need some fucking big guns in here, not some like second fucking second team EG player. I don't that's know who what... Walco is, but 1.07 in e, in fucking NA and IGLs. It's like Dexter when he's fucking 1.8 in N, uh, AU. It doesn't mean shit. We need more numbers. We need more fucking passion. We need more vision. More fucking energy. Fucking energy. More footwork. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> well, I, luckily, I didn't want to spend too much time talking about NRG. I just wanted to really touch on the changes. But I think Owen's kind of summed up uh, what most of us would be thinking after all. Uh, does anybody have any strong feelings regarding this? I think it's important to mention that Breeze is actually shooting back now because he was struggling a lot on CSGO and he's actually shooting on CS2 which is good for the team phone like going forward because they were lacking a lot of firepower when he had no fucking hands on CSGO, but he's fucking back. So that's good. At least Hopefully okay. the automatic can shoot back as well because he was good at the end. The, the, I think the EG run when they were getting bounced like last place EPL every season, he was actually Bro. doing good. Automatic coming to this team after flirting with Valorant, like heavily flirting yeah, with Valorant. Yeah, that is a bit weird. Actually. It's like, yeah. like yeah. having a lap, Valorant it's lap dancing. It's just North America. Uh, it's you know, just North America. It's, oh, you know, God. they're like changing, exchanging messages and uh, you know, D- DMs on Snapchat. Are you, usually, are you usually exchanging messages with people you get lap dances from? You know, sometimes. Uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Depends what country you're like, in. I'm trying to be like you guys. Yeah. Talking, you guys live some good life, man. I'm sure going to do Look at this it's, shit. And then it's like, no, I actually uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna actually yeah it's like after some <laughs> some time valorant goes to him and he's like yeah actually my next door neighbor is fine let's go the, the let's, let's get married be it'll be much better <laughs> let's, fu- let's fucking I want, go <laughs> prof's love life sounds insane or at least his version of one like that's <laughs> fucking crazy uh, How does this have to do with me? Maybe that's a fantasy, <laughs> man. What does this have to do with me? These are just North American things, guys. Oh, you mean we can stay and play another video game and not have to travel and get paid good money? Yeah, I'll just stay at home and not want to be the best at anything. It's just that's that's it. They're just they're happy being career video game players. They don't want to be the best in the world. That that's that's it. That's that's the shtick, guys. Uh, we don't have to waste too much time talking about them. It's the endless cycle. Um, let's talk about something interesting. The Blast Showdown. I hope everybody was tuning in. I hope everybody was watching. Uh, we all love some online Counter-Strike, and we also love an amalgamated qualifier that was once upon a time North, uh, North America and EU, but is now just EU, and nobody said boo to a goose. Funny that. Uh, so we've got one big qualifier, two brackets, two teams made it through, Spirit and Saw. Um, but I do want to start with Metasport because uh, we have been seeing an awful lot of them in online Counter-Strike recently. And during the showdown, they took some big scalps. They played some good CS. We got to see Nilo, the kid who was uh, brought up a lot by uh, uh, the people at home regarding, when I want to say the people at home, uh, the pros in the top 20 last year. They also are people at home sometimes. Uh, but we got to see him, but not only him, the, the rest of the team. Uh, we had seen Jack Inyo before. We all know ZTR from his time in NIP. And then you had the, the twins, uh, Adam B and Susp, and, and they were playing some good CS. And this is what I'm kind of liking at the tone of Counter-Strike at the moment, some team Counter-Strike. It's going all right. There's some team CS. It's not just international run around and shoot people in the head Counter-Strike. I'm liking it. They're playing I like well, Metasport. but they lost the final to a certain team. I won't say the name. The Witches, 2-0. Oh. Just going to throw it in there. All right. I've got to piss on people when they're winning because it's, it's my shtick, right? I mean, they're doing, well, they're doing well, but they didn't do that when they played it. But I do have to say that Adam B and Sus guy, how the hell are they 19 years old with a full arm sleeve, fully tanned and just look like some mafia bosses? What the hell is this? They look like actual Gs, both of them. And I, I didn't even know they were twins. 
they came on the blast cameras and I was like, well, how the fuck is he moving rooms so fast? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? I was like, that's a different guy. <laughs> He's had a slightly different here. Like, it's the exact same style, same shading, but there's like a clock here. And the other guy has like a knife or something. I'm like, holy shit, it's a different person. Like, I just, it's I, impressive as fuck. Actually they're the, impressive. They're the type of teenagers who were like either oh. very physical or got brought into the gym by someone in their family at like an early age. Because yeah, they, bosses. Yeah, like you the look at some 19 year olds playing Counter Strike and they've got like, you know, boyish figures these guys have like they're like they look like they're ready to fucking brawl they so. finished growing yeah they're they're, they're done they're yeah. complete <laughs> like they're, they're, they're finished yeah, maybe they're a cycle boys. or two here or there but you know they're, they're able to get themselves uh yeah but look metasport i enjoyed watching it you know yeah, i like the I interviews with the well. coach who was nice and humble in the way they were talking about things and they just played some solid cs it was fun to watch the the game against falcons i was like they look like the experienced lineup they're oh, like every 3v3 oh. or whatever situation they would just play it even if they wouldn't win the round they would play it well like it would never feel like they are uh, going too fast or like over committing to someone there's always like the understanding of okay let's let's figure out what we can do in this situation kind of using the space the time the utility that they had and like honestly I don't remember what map it was. It was Vertigo when fucking Falcons won three one v threes and yeah. some insane rounds and uh, still lost the game. So that's that's just crazy. It's crazy to for a young and unexperienced team to bounce back from all of these losses. That's not really the typical thing. And I think realistically, it's just because they do play really good Counter Strike as a team. Like not nothing. Nilo is good, and he had that one overpass, and he oh, fucking just, he this just this inferno he, round. He's insane. He's insane. Yeah, but it's not he's like insane. he needs to do something every round for them to win. I don't think it's like. I don't no, like they that win at all. games when he's like bottom often, which is like the most impressive part, right? I honestly think their best win was today versus Apex. Like, I know it's online, but to destroy Apex 13 7, 13 6 is like. That's pretty tough. For like and they're boot camping you know? for a major right now, Apex as well. Yeah, they just. Fucking took them out the water, no problem. I, to me, that's more impressive than taking a map of spirit and stuff. Like, just two, 16, uh, 13, 7, 13, 6, it's like no chance. Like, absolutely no chance. Like, I'm wondering and about Apex this. Is a very good team. Like, I was wondering about this. Like, this is a bit of a side note to to the showdown, but obviously, like, they're the that's the Iron Dallas close qualifier that you guys are talking about. And I was just looking at it and I was like, I wanted to restart the conversation with somebody who actually knows the answer to this. And it would be like, is there such a thing as saving strats right now before the major for these teams that are going to be at the major, you know, because obviously, you know, it's been like a massive meme every time, like, you know, people say, oh, we've been saving strats and like everybody's just using it as like an excuse. That's obviously not true. But to be fair, like you're the only ones showing anything like in the weeks leading up to the major, like you're the only ones who are, who's actually going to have some data on them in the week before the major. So like as recent as possible, there's no way you're going to show everything, not even close everything well you might not pull out like a pocket or like you might not pull out something that you want to like condition with but then early you also on might not, game. but you also might not pull out like some bigger changes or like some like overhauled way like you're looking at a map or 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 things like that sometimes you know just because I, I you don't want to show that. that like i honestly because I, I think like apex could ex they could think like oh we should be able to beat these guys playing like our crb game right yeah. like that in their mindset they don't think shit we need to know exactly where nilo is at yeah. one minute 40 when right. this flash pops at blah, 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 blah. like they're kind of just expecting to win and i don't think they they obviously want to win they're not throwing but if they lose it's like eh, it's okay like we know what we need to do for the major i think like they even said it themselves that's why they brought sticker back their only goal is the major and the last major when they made top four with jl and stuff i think it was top yeah. four i don't think yeah. it was the final they literally said like when they qualified a bit to four eh, we don't care about anything else that happened we don't care about a single game that happened we made top four our job's complete like that's their only goal so i don't think they're that bothered I, there's a few, saving too much stuff you know there's a few teams in this conversation though right like heroic and apex who are playing in the, yeah right and i think that's something to consider as well Maybe Virtus Pro doesn't fall into the same conversation as the other names that I just, well, maybe. No, Mir's been there for a bit longer than the rest. Um, but a lot of these rosters haven't actually played that many official maps together as well. So they're still kind of like building out their library. Um, so if they went in, this is kind of practice under official conditions. Yeah, anyway. it's literally, yeah. it's going to say that. It's like stress testing the, the vehicle, you know, <laughs> yeah. to see what, what they can and can't get away with. Like, I just, I, nobody have a look right now, but let's just have, let's just, Glaive with the Polish guys, how many official maps do you think they played together in total? Mm, 12 with, to 20 maps. Like, 
Oh, we're going to uh, say 30. And I'm going to like, let's say 25. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's I'm 32. Plus. So it's not many maps, right? And we're about That's to. That's quite about... a lot, actually. Well, you know, like 32 official maps and you're going into a major. That's fucking Meta's plays that in a month. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's I've been grinding hard. Monty yeah. plays that in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Monty plays that in two days sometimes. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, th this is this is you know teams who were kind of I, I I don't know like to what extent I would sit there and say they're like hiding everything. But I like smooth sentiment of you know they should just be able to play their basic game. They just play uh, like it's practice. Like we should win. It's okay. Just play, guys. Play how you play, and then no no too like crazy. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. They just play. Right. But this is, I, I made a tweet the other day and it was kind of to do with this. Maybe not really, it, just all of these kind of qualifiers, right? It's uh, more about this position we find ourselves in again because of where the major is. Um, and I said, second major of the year will be at the end of the season. These mid season woes will be just a thing of the past. Just got to make it to the player break and things will start making sense. Hold on, we're almost there. Because this is the murkiness that we find ourselves in right now. We're having qualifiers for events which are after the major, which after the major we know, and there's some teams who are playing in these qualifiers who are playing in the major and some of them who aren't. And we know some of them are going to have roster changes after the major based on how well or how poorly they do at the major. And we're just in this like awkward, weird spot at the moment, right? So once the major is the last event and you're not trying to qualify in a qualifier for an event that takes place a couple of weeks after the major, like it, it's just <laughs> it all, is kind of fucked you know? when you say it like that. It's just fucking janky. It's mean, full someone, limbo mode. Someone wrote like Virtus Pro are not playing to qualify. They're just playing for practice. They can make make it to US anyway uh, for Dallas. And I was like, this is also kind of true. <laughs> this is kind of true. Yeah, I can't imagine it's easy for them for visas and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like so... you're qualifying, then you need to get a visa. And it's like, good luck if you have anything else going on in your life to this... find that. This is where gauging these type of tournaments and the results and everything you see, it makes it very difficult to like pin the tail on the donkey and say like, yeah, yeah. this is how I mean, this should rank up. We'll do the power ranking later and we did it like internally for the major and it's like, damn, this is not easy. Like mm. you really, I, well, for me at least I was looking at, you know, there are more results. Like this means a lot because everyone wants to go through and everyone's giving like 100% there. There's no fucking around. Then everything else is like, yeah, you beat this team here, but like, hmm, like how how important is this actually? You know, and everyone's just saying like, see with the major, like you yeah, beat yeah. us now, see with the fucking major, buddy. You online, like no one gives a fuck. So, yeah, for sure. We'll Wait, well, quick, quick question: Who do you guys have? I and mean, we're gonna do it later. But I've been. I, I also made a tweet. Who the hell do you have as favorites for the major? Because I feel like the last like was it nineteen majors or something? There's always someone that's like they should win. They should win. You know, and I feel like this major, I can't. As you said, I can't think of someone that will like should win. Everyone just says spirit because of like how the Dizicato and stuff. I think we've we've been in this position for the last few majors, actually. I think even going into Paris, it's not like Vitality were some as massive favorite. If what anything, they were like the fourth. <laughs> Rio was the was also very open. I, like I even oh, I did actually, a feature yeah. about it because Rio was extremely open. It was like the eight teams that we saw as like a possibility to win. And then Paris comes and we were saying the same thing. There were like five different teams, six different teams that we were thinking like, okay, these have a realistic chance of winning. And in the end, you know, we all know how it's really that out, many though. It was a lot of it was, was a lot it of not those. just like the big ones like phase. I mean, I think for this one, it would be the main I would say the three teams are it's realistically gonna be one of three teams. And I would say that I mean the obvious three, right? Spirit, Vitality, Phase. I think those are the ones that I think like are sure it, right? quite like, far ahead of the rest at least like there's yeah. there's a decent gap you can make like a case for mouse g to like being somewhere in that conversation just because of their recent form but i don't think they have the same thing going for them as all the other three teams you know that they had their title contenders you know because we haven't seen g2 in that form necessarily we haven't seen yeah. mouse in that form necessarily like okay mouse steamrolled the rmr you know they beat spirit there you know they stopped stopped spirit but it is still a qualifier it's still they had three more chances to or two more chances to qualify it wasn't like the most mega high pressure <laughs> game because they still had uh, like another chance you know so i feel like yeah and it's not the same as like going to the final and beating them there like it's also a different different story so i think that's that's where i think this this time we actually have like a fairly close-knit group of favorites i'm beating a buzzer right now Jeremy. we'll get to that soon let's yeah. finish talking about blast yeah, sorry okay about that. sorry, no sorry, it's sorry. all right that's fine because we all want to talk about the major we just got to get through uh because i want to i want to give some credit to some of the names we saw at the showdown i think saw have picked oh, up an awful uh, lot of momentum and confidence off of the rmr and yeah. this is another team that i'm watching playing good like team-based counter-strike with good ideas and they have you know like 
Mate, the FTW core of story, you jerks and Aris Dosse, sweet, sweet rice. So nice. We named him twice. Uh, it's beautiful to watch them, them play in the counter. Like it's, and it's fun and they're passionate and they're getting into it. And it's good to see some newer names. I like story on the AWP. Um, so yeah, props to Saw, uh, the Portuguese lads for, for qualifying for the showdown in London, um, as well as spirit, obviously, but I think spirit on that side of the bracket with guaranteed favorites. Um, did anybody, do, what do we feel about the Falcons match? Do we have much to say? I know we mentioned from the Me, uh, Metasport uh, Meta side. I think, but... it's, I think it's it's crazy to me that they lost that just because of how big of an advantage they must have had preparation-wise. Like Metasport is playing so much shit. Like you can watch their games and you will know exactly what they're doing. There's no way you have a guy like Zonic and all the support staff he has with him and all that stuff and you can't prepare for a team like Metasport who's playing a million online games. You know, like that's the part of it that like is probably the craziest to me that they they couldn't prepare well enough. And I mean, maybe they prepared and maybe Metasport like surprised them in some way, but it was also like what Prof was saying. It's not like they looked like the better team and just like the right rounds went Metasport's way. Like sometimes that happened, like, you know, beginning of Vertigo, you know, they won the key round that basically switched the, like gave them the half and all that stuff. But still, like if you're Falcons, you're supposed to beat them, even if some of the key rounds don't go your way. But then they literally had to get, Vertigo was all about like the fact that Falcons were staying alive by like 1v3s, 1v2s, like rounds that they should never be winning. They should have lost that game like 13-4 or something. Like it oh, was, yeah. wasn't supposed to even be close with the way that uh, that Metasport was playing, you know, and like it was kind of like a cosmetic comeback at the end that, that made it look reasonably close. So I feel like, I don't know, that part is the craziest to me just because of... Uh, um, you know, this is not like some random team that just goes in and you don't know what they're going to do, you know, so you're just going to get surprised. This is literally the team that plays the most out of anybody right now. I sh they shouldn't need prep to beat that team. Like when you have one player that's paid more than the entire Metasport, entire fucking e whatever it is, <laughs> coach, <laughs> yeah. water boy, fucking janitor, like everyone times two, <laughs> you should rent, not be losing. Rent for the fucking yeah, uh, the, the, for the facility, boot camp facility. Like one person's salary is two times all the players, everyone's social media, fucking the owner's salary. It's you should not lose, and that's my opinion. I, pff, you can't lose that game without prep. With prep, you can play fucking. I mean, everyone should double their sense and still beat them. Like it's fucking impossible. Especially Jesus after Christ. you don't. No, but you, should, but you, but you look at the players that fucking have. They literally yeah, know, have. Yeah. It's they have like X amount of top fucking twenty players from last year. I know it doesn't need to fit, da, 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 but it's like, I, I don't know. I, I mean, unless CS two is that random, but I don't think it is. It's like I would be fucking so tilt if I lost that game if I was Falcons. Like, oh, I think the expectations were also a little bit. Um maybe off just because of the simple return and people necessarily didn't like people i think had much bigger expectations that than they should have just by the virtue of simple being simple but he hasn't played a fucking official game in six months and like i don't know what people he i don't know what people expe exactly like i don't know what people <laughs> were expecting like for him to come back and just like suddenly steamroll people and he was <laughs> like he had a decent overpass he had some rounds there that literally like gave them some sort of a chance like it ended up being kind of a one-sided affair just because nilo was doing nilo things and like nobody other than simple actually turned up to the server you know but like he had some rounds there but then he goes to vertigo which he never we basically never played before That's and then disappears off the face of the planet you know and it's like all of this was predictable like i was looking at like even fantasy i'm like i'm not touching simple with the 10 football man. like 40 percent of people picked picked up simple and for I, was, like a... I was so crazy i was feeling so crazy about that i'm like are you is everybody dumb like why why would you take that risk he's like there's no guarantee that he's gonna if play it was orping it would be different right it, that's, what, that's could, another it's thing worth yeah. the risk, it's like but... the fourth fucking reason why you should like that's a yeah. red flag on top <laughs> no of red way. flag because she should just tell you okay this is not going to be the simple that we're expecting okay Smir, you play with Sasha sometimes in face and stuff. What, what do you make of this whole Falcons stand in loan situation? The, I, the thing is, okay, I've always had my opinion on simple. I've done nothing at all in Counter Strike, okay? But I play a fucking lot against the top people, whether it be in FPL, whatever. So I'm like one of the people that have seen him play like at his absolute best. All of his top FPL clips have come from getting clipped from my Twitch when I'm dead watching him <laughs> 1v5. So like I've seen this guy like do shit that no one else has ever seen. He's That's also- That's flex, by the way. No, but he's also That's like- true. When I would prank against him, he would change his name to like Fanatic Destroyer and like just play XM Shotgun Deagle only and just drop 50 against us. Like, message me on Twitter, like, ha ah, you're so bad. Like, and I'm like, how the fuck is this guy doing this? Like, and I'm sat there, like, guys, could we try and beat this guy, please? He's just destroyed us. And now I see him, like, if you go to a new game that has completely new mechanics, 
completely knew everything, refuse to play the game for the first four months, leave your team from not playing it, not play the game, not like at all, not in a competitive setting. When he plays FPL, he's just fucking Zeusing or trying to knife people, playing shotgun only, like it's complete troll. Of course, he's not going to be good. And it upsets me because the way the game feels now, Simple would fucking dominate if he didn't stop, like, you know, when he came from when CSGO switched. It would be like, I think he would be better than he was in CSGO. That's why I get so annoyed because I'm like, I'm better now at this game. And I was trash at CSGO compared to Simple. And it's like, just please, because I'm a fan of him, you know? Like, I want him to just fucking own people. And I just see him get farmed by Metsipod. I'm like, oh, bloody hell, not again. Like, it's it's pretty brutal. Do you think this is him just getting back into form and seeing what roster changes happen after the major and seeing where he can land? Or attempting to get... get he can get land where he wants. If he yeah. plays the game and he says, I want to play here, all he needs to do is knock one zero off his salary, which he won't fucking feel. You know, like a Tom Brady situation when he plays for like 18 million so the market caps down for the teams and then get more plays. He could do that. He can play wherever he wants besides maybe Vitality, of course. I was just saying, do not know what that contract's worth, but probably a lot of money. He could play where he wants. It's It's up to him. It's simply on him. If he wants to compete and win everything again, he will do it. And I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to want to do it, right? Like I mean, he's fucking done a I lot. Mean, like, like you want want or not want, there's still there's still a buyout to that attached to that the, to that name to that brand. Yeah, but and it's I not going to be a cheap one. And it's like there's probably just one organization in the world that can afford that right now, and it's the one that he joined on a one month loan. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, it for me, it's just sad because it's like. I kind of saw it happening towards the end of CSGO. Like, before when you play versus Zywoo and Simple only in FPL, okay? If you show me a clip of Zywoo getting knifed, I'll fucking shit in my hands and clap. Because that guy <laughs> does not get fucking knifed. Even if you have the knife in the air about to stab, he'll just spin around and just take a 55 sling of his headshot, you know? And it's like... <laughs> and, like, Simple was the same kind of thing. But towards the end, I started, like, f- f- being like, Simple's going to be here. And he was there. And I was like... Eh, this is fucking weird. Like, I've never done that before. You know, like, it, it didn't feel like the same kind of player. And again, it's coming from me. So, what the fuck does it mean? Like, I just play face it and shit. But it's like, I shouldn't be able to read what he's doing. You know, he was <laughs> old FPL simple was just fucking different, man. It's so crazy. But I hope he plays the game because I think he'll like it when he plays it. But he needs to op. He needs to stop this. I could be a top 20 rifle. Oh, you fucking couldn't. No, you fucking couldn't. Just play up, please. Play fucking up and just be the goat. I mean, he could, up. like, okay, if we were talking like a year ago, like, there's 100%, there's no question, there's no doubt in my mind that he could be, that he would be. Like, he was, he was also not hopping that much. Top rifler. E- easily. But the, do you understand that? I told you a year ago, a year ago, if we had this conversation, like, I wouldn't But you're only talking about a- T side, though. Have you seen that guy on M4? He's not multi-killing with an M4, he's going one for one. And that hurts your stats a lot when he's usually getting multi-kills with the AWP. That's why he's so strong, because he can, like, Push a banana with AK and kill everyone, but he couldn't do it with an M4. You know what I mean? He needs to open CT. So I don't think he would be. Maybe he'd be 21st. But I don't think he would get top 20. <laughs> I don't think he could get top 20 hits of TV without a single sniper kill on HTV. I don't think. Okay, I, I want to do another bit of trivia here, and I I, I do enjoy your uh, your insights. Thank you, Smear. I appreciate that because we've so obviously sorry, got cause... a bit. So I, I don't want to take away from Saw because it's fucking nuts what they did as well. Like it's completely insane. I'm starting to talk about simple. It was literally like. Generational, whatever you want to call it, like historic. What sort of this fact saw make this event? It's completely insane. And yeah, well, no, that's cool. No, no, no. A lot of people want to talk about the simple stuff, so I think it's more than fine. Yeah, but I, just I wanted bad. to ask another bit of trivia to everybody here. How many officials on Vertigo do you think Simple's played in his career? That's less than five. Now two, right? Always at that little. So he's played three. One of them was a show match game show where he was playing count. with Waro Two K. Showmatch doesn't count. No, so it does he... count. Don't take away he my said stats. Officials. I have... How the fuck is a show match hey, official? I have I'm sorry, half your don't fucking officials are show matches, so I don't understand why I'm saying this. Don't take it away. I have some trophies from those games. So here are now. the dates of, of uh, or here are the years. We don't have to go over the, the dates. He first played Vertigo with Na'Vi versus Heroic back in 2019. I think there was something went wrong in the veto there. I, I don't remember exactly, but yeah, I swear. I, I like, remember the story, but I can't right? remember exactly as well, yeah. And it's then they then the next time he played it was in the show match in uh, 2022. And then the third time he's ever played an official record on a HLTV on Vertigo is 2024. So this, there's, you know, a couple of years breaks between each of those officials right there it's, on Vertigo. So that's, that's a different map each time, right? I feel like I yeah, like it right? literally <laughs> had different, there's a wall taken out or some fucking lift added or some shit each well, time. Even though from going from CSGO to CS2, like the, the difference in the way, you know, the, you're playing with the smokes and stuff, right? Oh, so yeah. there's, you know, a few differences there as well. All right. 
is there anything else we want to discuss with the showdown? Any other big takeaways that people want to quickly get out because we want to transition shortly into this major conversation yeah. for we the second talk half about of the, the show. Major, I just want to say like NA teams got kind of fucked with the schedule of this for sure. Like uh, oh, Imperial, travel, yeah. complexity. Imperial complexity oh. and liquid coming dead, in, on like a literally 24 hours since playing, since flying for like 12 hours to playing the shit. Whatever you want to say, uh, whatever anti-excuse you want to put, that's going to fuck you and it's going to fuck you hard. It's not great to to do cross-Atlantic travel. You, you just, you're at least 20% off of a human being than what you are before that. That's just how it is. Can so somebody really... tell me what happened between OG and Heroic though? Like I was thinking just like, okay, complexity, I can see like, yeah, fine. They just came over and... Uh, and... What happened between them? Yes. Like no, how OG, did OG go 13-5, 13-6 against Heroic? <laughs> Well, like that's the, that's the a heavy game gold, I missed, but I just I didn't have time to go back to it, and I'm like, what the fuck happened there? Heavy I think, gold. I, I think Smooth is bang on. Uh, the the multi round impact, like the impact I saw from Heavy God at the RMRs, compared to the impact I saw from Heavy God in that just one series of counter, I was like a completely different fucking player. Is, was that the game where he had that Inferno clip? That wasn't uh, against yes. Rook, right? When he mm-hmm. fucking absolutely just touched everyone oh, up in apps. Clip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That but is how does, fucking Nico esque, man. That is. It doesn't even look do like that. he's shooting at their heads. All of the first three, right? No one near no. the head. Just all headshots. <laughs> Just that, insta. I thought the same thing. It's like moving still a little bit, and they're like off. I don't know. A little, maybe some some stuff stuff going on there, but. Mate, not gonna call he, he had another crazy round on like Mirage or whatever. The OG, they weren't playing anybody B. They were just playing like really mid centric and he was playing short. So they didn't have a B anchor. And they execute into B. And he just underarms the smoke, pushes forward and just plays behind his smoke on one side and then Edward. And then the smoke fades and he gets the first gun. And then he transfers into a sight guy and then an apps guy and he just oh, fucks like them all that. up. That sounds like heavy good. That's it was the, huge. That's a net player right there, man. <laughs> Fucking talent. This is what you want to see. But uh, I think the... the the thing that I saw with them, and, and in interviews with Banks, I think they were saying since Rug has gone, they're a bit more free and there's a bit more responsibility for all the players and that type of stuff. So interesting to see how OG develops because Rugger was essentially there from the very beginning. Um, now it's Lambert, who was the assistant's, assistant coach. I think he's doing the main coaching duties at the moment. So I'd be interested a bit more to see how OG kind of develop. Um, okay, well, let's... Uh, Let's let's. Go. I was just like I was just curious, just because like who the fuck had uh, Saul versus OG in the final of the top bracket in and their heavy got not being card, there. man. I wonder why those bloody health issues, yeah. those pesky health issues that uh, I don't think was a health issue, but it's. Oh. Hey, okay. hey. What are the you last, saying, Smear? The last twenty times someone's had a mysterious health issue, which come out of nowhere, they've been transferred to a different roster. Oh. So. oh. How much oh. sounds fair for Heavy God? That's all I'm asking. How much sounds... He just got fucking bought out like four minutes ago. This guy's going everywhere. He's like the most sold after player in the history of Counter-Strike. He's getting purchased everywhere. Oh, and Marty Max has done it again. And they... Uh, I don't mind. That's not to the show. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I don't mind. That's right, that, right. that would be Mega League. That's... that's <laughs> uh, should we go to an ad break and come back and get into the major conversation? Let's yeah, do that, yeah. All right, be right back. Best esports odds. VIP program and a variety of bonuses. Fast and easy withdrawals. Bet on every possible CSGO matching tournament. As well as any other esports game. Only on 22Bet. Are you tired of your boring old skins? Head to Trade It and trade them for exciting new ones within seconds. With 24-7 support, massive inventory, free giveaways, and low fees, Trade It is the highest rated trading platform in the market. What are you waiting for? Start trading today for a $5 bonus, only on Trade It. Wow, Ooh. I cannot believe that that's happening, Smoother. That is so crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> guys, I might be playing an ESL Impact next season. That's, that's what I was talking about. That's why they were shocked. I'm debating what I want to be doing in my future, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see oh, what bloody happens. hell. Well, there's the leak, guys. Uh, you've all been informed. All right. Well, we're going to keep the show spinning forward. Uh, I want to jump into the major conversation because this is what everybody's here for for tonight's episode. As mentioned, the major starts uh, in just, well, a couple of days. Um Let's do a skinionaire, right? Uh, Smoo, you can be the primary 
contestant, but you can have the support of Prof and Striker because they haven't seen these questions either. And we'll see if we can win some lucky individual at home, a $50 skin voucher, thanks to tradeit.gg. So you guys know how this works. Multiple choice, uh, five questions, each answer, we move the slider up a notch. Uh, all, way, all the way up to potentially $50. And right now, if you're one of the lucky viewers in chat and you would like to enter the draw, type trade it. Uh, oh, you... we're straight into skinny there. Should we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to oh, set the tone. So set the tone. I want to set the tone because I've done this. Is, so these are major focused questions. Okay, okay. everybody. All, all right, majors. So this, oh, sorry. All yep. majors across all okay. majors from the beginning of CSGO here, majors. Right, uh, so okay. Time. Who wants to be a skinny neighbor brought to you by Trade It GG? Let's get into a question number one. The first ever CSGO major was held in what city? Stockholm, Jönköping, or Gothenburg? Back winter. I think I've been to that event. If it hasn't moved, the Shop 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 King. That's the same town where I got beat up by the security guards in that video. If you go. Love <laughs> yeah. the town. Love the town. Love the people. They're, they like to stop the bandits from ruining their town, but I think it's that one, unless you guys have some opinions as well. Maybe it was in a different one, but I think it's that one. Do you guys want to confer? Are you happy with the answer that uh, Smear has provided? Happy enough. Prof? Yeah, please don't be wrong. Go over here. Click, click the as, thing. As the man returning Swedish counter to the top of the pops, it I'm is, sure you have this. It is the Jan, Jan Shoppings. Correct answer. Jan Shopping B. Okay. Uh, question number two. We're off to a flyer of a start here. That's what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. How many organizations have won multiple uh, won majors multiple times? Is it A, two, B, three, or C, four? I can I can think of three guys. Fnatic, mm. LDLC. LDLC yep. didn't win two. No. Really? Fnatic, Astralis. So it was Fnatic. Fnatic LDLC was Fnatic Fnatic Envy, three, Envy yeah. was the other yeah. time that the ah, Virtus yeah, Pro, yeah, yeah, Pro doesn't count. Virtus Pro doesn't count. Confirm, Chad. It was outsiders. Outsiders that doesn't, can't doesn't count. count that can't bro. count. You can submit your answer, and we'll discuss the options Boom. after. <laughs> so it's only a, only Astralis and Fnatic, right? I'm not gonna look at the chats. Chats there. Are we happy with two? Everyone, we're looking no, a I'm two. Happy with two. There's 19 majors, and Astralis. Uh, how to pre? Oh, okay, to pre. Navi didn't want to. Uh, that many unique did. winners. Okay, let's go. Let's go two then. Looking in a two, and the correct answer is. A2. Now, look, okay. I would have, if you had answered three and you said VP, I would have given it to you on a technicality. Holy shit, 66% chance to get it right, boys. We fucking did it. Let's so, go. I would, have, I would have given it to you on a technicality. Now, we went with organizations. We didn't go with, like, lineups or anything like that or calls. Yeah, but right? that's we actually went with organizations. Crazy. That's actually that's, crazy that, that there's only two orgs with, uh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Okay, question number three. Two from two so far. Signature stickers were introduced at which major? Katowice 2015, Cologne 2015, or Cluj 2015? Like I, you can't I answer because I, I, I gave like, you the answer, the answer earlier. Because we, we did, did yeah, we just talked about it before. You, we can't help you on this. It's more oh! on Hey! Where the <laughs> fuck did my friends go? What the <laughs> fuck is this? Oh, shit. Okay, well, I wasn't even playing the game at this point. So this is a bit fucked up. Am I, I'm, I'm leaning more towards Katowice. If anyone flinched. No. How does Cologne sound? Oh, there's a bit of a smile there. It's not clues, right? Because I remember that Pasha Bicep had his stick and it was like a spider ran across the fucking the thing. Oh! <laughs> is it clues? Yeah, eight seconds, seven. Eight seconds. Shit! Oh, it can't be clues, right? Click something, click something, click something. I'll go clues. Well, I've misclicked. Uh, four smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That's three out of three. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> what question? I gave the answer away before because I I, sh I was talking to... Uh, the I saw the tweet to do with Wakadia missing out on his sticker, so I was showing Striker Mine and how bad it looks. Oh, and that I cool. that was the first major with signature stickers, which was Cologne 2015. Oh, fourth question, free for free. That's yeah, that's all right. We'll give it to you. That's I'm feeling generous. It's still Christmas in my <laughs> That's mind. a hard question, though. It is. It is. Uh, sure all right. Around back then. Let's go. Question Let's four. Go. They get harder. What event was the major quali? Uh, what event was the major qualifier integrated into the major, expanding it from 16 to 2014? So was it Krakow 2017? Was it Boston 2018? Or was it London 2018? Okay. From my initial reaction, because, you know, I remember London 2018. I was there. I was a part of those, uh, the, the bottom teams which came up. My initial thought is Boston. Krakow. I like it. I like it. 
You like it? I like it. I like it because I remember Krakow was the whole bug clan situation and there was only 16 Spiems there because they were too busy jump bugging everyone and going through Zippo. Yes. So I'll go for Boston 2018 since my teammate likes it. Okay. Uh, we'll be locking in Boston 2018 and that is, I can confirm, the correct answer. <laughs> One more away from the clean sweep tonight on the Who Wants to Be a Skinny Nerd brought to you by Trader.gg. We're heading into question number five, and this oh, one oh, is tough. Hey. This one is going to really require a lot of thinking from the brain trust. Yeah, How many right, major yeah. grand finals in a row have ended with a 2-0 score in the best of three? Now, the answers here are not correct, so let me just read them out from <laughs> Discord where I sent them to Dimitri. Uh, one second. Hold up. The 60 second doesn't start yet. I'm going to start talking. No, no, we're, we're, it hasn't started yet. Okay. Let me go again. How many major grand finals in a row have ended with a 2 0 scoreline in the best of three? A, three, B, five, C, seven. It can't be seven. That's too many. I feel like I would not pick <laughs> seven. It's too many, right? Seven majors. What was that? <laughs> Am I understanding the question right? You're saying the last, the last seven three. major like finals? The last, the last, how many? You're, there's the I, question, I, right? I, yeah, I remember yeah. the Nico clip on when he whiffed on that guy. That wasn't a, that was like a last map. That was I think. oh yeah, there you go. That, that was, was, that was, that was no, five. No, 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 no. That, that would have old. that would have gone to three maps if they they won that. So no, oh, whatever, really? they'd go five. Fuck. Oh, okay, I'm so that's Stockholm, then go the whole COVID, then before COVID, uh, the last oh. one. Berlin, Berlin. Well, that was the times zero. ended, but we'll give you more time to work this okay, one out. What you us, guys actually us, think through us, this? Okay. Okay, I okay, would okay. say seven seems. I feel like that would be like repeated before the major. So is it, like, is it, are we sure it's more than three though? Like, would we? It's so, okay. Paris, yes. Work backwards, boys. Paris, Let's have a Paris, think here. Paris, Paris, yes. Rio. I'm trying to remember. But it has to be because most answers two three, right? The blowout shit <laughs> grand okay. final of her. Two zero two. Uh, One for Ant Antwerp. Was two. Was two. Was two. Stockholm two. was two. Berlin was two. So that's five already. What the yeah, hell before was before that? that? Karavitsa was Astralis as well, and that it's was against stomp, yeah. uh, Ants was two. Yeah. So it's seven then, because we're yeah. up to six already. We'll go for seven. That is no way that's right. And so, so, face seven. It, so face it major would have been seven. It would have been two zero. Oh yeah, face it major was two zero as well. And the correct Jesus answer Christ. is seven. The last seven major <clears throat> grand finals in a row have ended in 2-0 fashion. What so a dead, what fucking a dead cloud game. nine phase was the last good grand final that we had. Yep, it was oh. Astralis Navi <laughs> at London, <laughs> Astralis Ents, Astralis Avangar, Navi G two, Phase Navi, Outsiders Heroic, and Vitality Gamer Legion. Gamer All two O's. What the Honestly, out of the two O's, only the Navi G two one was interesting. Is that the, the one that I was talking about when he whiffed? Yeah. Right, the rest yeah. was dog shit. The rest, yeah, all of them are. Dog, using dog shit. I mean that's the that's the record breaking match the um, G2 Navi one that that's landing of nuke that went to overtime, that's, that's the two point eight crazy. million concurrent viewers or some shits like that's a that's a record that we're not gonna break anytime soon probably. But if you make them best of fives, they <laughs> maybe they're three O's. Longer, then it would be seven three O's. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Well, uh, I, I just wanted to quickly say Doctor Doom one two nine one two is the winner of uh, tonight's Who Wants to Be a Skinnier. We're five out of five, so that's fifty dollar voucher will be coming your way. Our people will get in contact with your people. So congratulations and thank you guys for playing along. I just wanted to do a little bit of major history before we get into talking about tonight's major. So I thought there were some fun little tidbits and bits and pieces, uh, stuff that maybe people at home weren't too aware of. So I thought that could be a little bit of fun. Um, so yeah, the last seven majors have had two O finals. And I think that's crazy. pretty telling, that's right? So like crazy. that, it says a lot. And a lot of them have been dumpsters. A lot of them even could go back, especially when we're talking about the Astralis State Smooth, you brought this up before about some of the majors, you know, we, we haven't really known if there's a heavy favorite, but we once upon a time yeah. did. Astralis was a heavy favorite for, for quite a long period of time there. Um, and I, I'll say most of the time, it's either a quarter, quarterfinal or a semifinal match at a major, which is the most exciting game. Phase versus Spirit in Antwerp. I was, I was going to bring that up, yeah. Yuria versus just... Heroic in Rio. It's who very blast. If Faze played, who did they play? Was it Vitality? Did they play in the quarters? There was like a big game. What are you talking about? Thing. Which the one? Blast, are you the blast about? major. Faze uh... made top. Oh, Paris, yeah, sorry, yeah, Paris, yeah. Faze played. For... It was a Vitality. Faze, played Faze Heroic was the Heroic? quarterfinal. Okay, no. Yeah, Faze Heroic 2 yeah. 1. And then the only other 2 1 game in the rest of the bracket was Game of Legion Heroic. Everything else was 2 0. Yeah. So. Lots of stomps, or maybe not stomps, but lots of you know one-sided matchups as far as the scoreline was concerned. Um, 
Okay, so let's get into just a little bit of basic information regarding uh, this major. So this is going to be the first CS2 major. I'm sure you guys have all heard, heard that a bunch of times. It's more for the people at home as opposed to, to you guys, but uh, we may as well mention those details. Uh, we've got 24 teams broken up over the two stages. Now we used to have like challenger legend stages. Now it's called opening and uh, elimination stages. Closing. <laughs> and then playoffs. <laughs> Um, so those are those are the those are the stages. Now, uh, sixteen teams start in the opening stage. Uh, eight of those teams go through Swiss. It's best of one openers, best of three. Um, you know, kind of hurdle matches through their elimination or qualification to the next stage of the tournament. Uh, it's one point two five million as the prize. It is uh, half a million US dollars for first, and it is one hundred and seventy thousand for second. And even if you come last place in the opening stage, you get ten grand. Um, so, and we all know the stick of money is a big way for these teams to make some cash money. Um, what else do we need to let people know? The dates, uh, it's going to be kicking off from, where is it? The 17th, 17th of March. 31st. Yeah. Until the 31st. So the last, uh, the first day, April 1st is, uh, that's the day after the major. I'm glad I'm going to That's on the 17th. Yeah. What? On a yeah. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why the of, of Ryan from Dust 2. <laughs> Why is it sounding on a Sunday? I'm so upset about this fact. For some what? Reason. No, I didn't even, that's so, I was looking at like, oh, they're going to say 18th, right? 17th. Yeah. So it's it goes kinda... four days, day off, four days, two days no. off. No, there's no day off in between the first and second stage. Oh, really? There's yeah. three days off before the playoffs. Oh, Val, Val would be loving that. Val really want to limit the amount of downtime between matches and the amount of time between match days. So that's cool. Okay, so three days off. But okay, fair enough. I didn't know that. I uh, Fair enough. I'm learning here this evening as well. Exciting. Um, four days of playoffs in the Royal Arena, which everybody at home will have seen. I've heard um, there's going to be many more people in the Royal Arena from, from what I understand. Uh, sometimes yeah, they've, with the... they've opened up everything from yeah. from what I've been asking around, and it seems like like the stick the sales not sticker sales the sales have been going pretty all right. So yeah, so so what what I uh, was led to believe when doing the RMRs, uh, there were still tickets available for the Thursday and the Friday. Um, we were advertising that on the stream, and there was pins that PJ were giving away exclusive pins for the Thursday and the Friday uh, if people were buying tickets on those days. But for the Saturday and the Sunday, or this could be all days, they've opened up the whole thing. So sometimes when yeah. we watch the blast uh, from the Royal Arena, they have curtains, big black even curtains. The last, up even the last, I, like I went back and I think even the last four or five finals or something, like apart from the first two or something, it's been closed mm. off like quite heavily so like we haven't really seen royal arena at its best for a long time mm. yeah well that's the thing i don't know exactly like what it's going to look like at full capacity i don't know if they're doing 360 or um how they're doing it exactly in the arena i don't have any details I was told, that. I, i'm hoping i mean i'm hoping that this uh, this is okay to share but i was told thirteen thousand is the max capacity for um for the sold out days Okay, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. And we know that the Danes can definitely come out in full force. And I think because this is a major, we might be forgone with the uh, issues we're having with like hometown teams and stuff. I and mean, also, Denmark's a nice place. Yeah? Australia's didn't qualify. Yeah, they're still a hometown team, right? Yeah, but people it's will not still It's not going to be a big problem with that. They're going to come to watch Carrigan and Hooksy. You know, they're going to come for their boys. They're going to come and watch. It's going to be fine. Like Static, who are obviously going to make it to the playoffs, right? Ecstatic as well. Yeah, um, yeah, of course, of course. Um, so, uh, no, that's wrong. It's 16 to 18. I guess it's so someone in chat saying that, but it's to do with configuration. So what capacity would be for different type mm -hmm. of events, right? How do they do the stage? I mean, Is they there floor to, seating? Yeah, exactly. Like if it's just, uh, if it's like a 360, then obviously you have a lot more seats open. But if it's like on one side of the, like you have something like 20% of the arena off limits because it's impossible to watch from there. So mm, there yeah, you go. No, I mean, exactly. even, even like if I look at Wikipedia, it's just capacity 13,000 for like ice hockey and ball. For concerts, it's 17, yeah, but like concerts are standing. Like, yeah, it's yeah. a lot of standing. Um, what else do we need to let people know? Is there any other key information that we may have left out here? The Pickham's obviously not in the game just yet. Um, so the signature stickers for the players aren't in the game just yet. Pickums. So we'll see when that happens. I'm going Pickums. for the diamond coin. Um, I've only ever got a gold coin because I'm fucking trash, but I'm going for the diamond coin. I, think I mean, the last few majors have been fucking impossible to get to get uh, the diamond. So Pretty fucking difficult, isn't it? It's not, not easy out there. Um, what else do, do we need to let anyone know anything else? Was that pretty good? We're happy with that? Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean... Okay. Where, can, where can they buy tickets? Did you see that already? Uh, I don't know where they could buy tickets. Let me see. Uh, yeah, PGL yeah. Copenhagen yeah. major tickets. That's what I just Googled. Um, <laughs> Ticketmaster Denmark. Ticketmaster, yeah, I Maybe thought. Pop, pop that in there. Ticketmaster.dk. Yeah. As you said, I think Thursday, Friday is still available. 
Yeah, by the looks of things. I'll put it I'll put it in the chat. Hopefully this isn't like a scalping website or something. Oh, you guys, no. you, you guys oh, should guys. definitely do your no, thank really you just, for all the skins. When you guys. Said the I was just looking for confirmation. <laughs> I should be right. Yeah, okay. Well we'll have a look there. Um okay, let's get into the the meat and potatoes, us talking about the teams and our expectations and all of those good things. So uh as we go through this, first of all we're gonna do the Vox Pop, then we're gonna do a power ranking where we'll actually cover off all twenty four teams and try and give each of them their flowers. This first CS2 major, a lot of new names, as uh, striker mentioned earlier, thirty eight rookies. Um, then we're going to take a look at the pickums and the opening matches. So we'll try and go through this in different stages. I want to say this now, and we'll say it again when we get to doing the power ranking. The power ranking is not us putting it in from 1 to 24 of where we think the teams are going to go. It's how strong we think the form of these teams are going to the major. And just because we think they're strong doesn't necessarily mean that we think they're going to win. Or we I mean, think we, they're going to come last. Good, there's a very good likelihood that we're going to put somebody who's, well, actually, no, probably not, probably not with this case because the ranking actually decided the top eight teams. So uh, probably not. It's not going to happen that we're going to get like one of the elimination stage teams in the top, like below the top 16, let's yeah. say, you know, like, that's probably not going to happen. But but I'm just saying like, if your team is towards the bottom, it doesn't, well, once we get to the pickums, maybe we have them, you know, you never know. We'll find no, out. Let's... He's lying. He's fucking lying, guys. This, let, is, let... this is where we think they're going to finish dead fucking on. Let's fucking do this shit. I like oh, this kind I'm of I'm going to get all the hate, aren't I? All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's take a look at the Vox Pop. Uh, so this week's question that we asked everybody was to do with the form of the teams going, I should have retweeted, did I retweet it? I swear, I, I usually retweet this stuff. I guess I didn't retweet it. I'm trying to look for it right now. Um, oh, it's up on screen. Never mind. I don't have to fucking read. Which for team is going into the major in the best form? That's yes. the question. So that's what we asked everybody at home. Uh, we provided four teams. So we provided Spirit, uh, Vitality, Phase, and G2 with the four teams. And I was having a look on Instagram and I was having a look on Twitter to see what people were voting for. And here's the results. Uh, the people at home strongly, almost 50%, so 46% of the field, think that Spirit is going into the major in the best form. Uh, then Phase, then Vitality, and then uh, G2 with a very mild 2%. Oh, they're popping off. Yeah. Um, so, look, we had to... I was going to say, there's there. like one of these is not like the other, but... <laughs> No, but we had to we had to put four teams in there. Uh, so three of them, I think, are pretty strong contenders. Smoo, you see this? What are you thinking? What's your what would your what would your vote go to? I think it's. I mean, it's probably right, right? <laughs> I mean, the other thing that's weird is Spirit hasn't played Vitality, so it's oh maybe they no they didn't right? They didn't Vitality no. like bounce out of Kato or something? They didn't yeah, they, face they, each they, other. they haven't played Vitality. Yeah, I think the other person that could absolutely. Rock Donk's world would be Zaiwu because the only thing that can stop Donk is an AWP, and Zaiwu is pretty good with that. Um, I would personally take Vitality over Spirit, just experience, all that kind of stuff. I think they know what it means to, you know, how to win the big, big, big games. Um, I would probably take them over Spirit. You just have to, I think, with the players they have, experience, stuff like that. But they I mean, G2 at 2% is a little bit lower. Yeah, I would put Vitality first over Spirit. Well, I think one of the one of the things with this is obviously um, the point of this is to bring in recency bias, <sighs> right? If we're talking about the form of teams, so it's to to kind of gauge the ones who have been either sweeping the opponents who have had the best runs in tournaments, who have been looking the most consistent. And Spirit obviously yeah. winning Katowice and Donk, right? Just those two things combined, the uh, cultural impact. Thank you very much, Maui, of uh, Donk. And of course, spirit winning are the two things that I think are keeping them heads above, uh, head uh, shoulders above the rest in that conversation. Um, it's whereas, also hard like, to make an argument like from the results perspective, right? Because like, okay, they lost one series to Mouse, but Vitality shit the bed at Karavice, you know. So it's like, in terms of actual form, like going into the tournament, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, Phase, you can make an argument because they made it to the final. And I'm trying to remember how they did at the RMR, man. Like, it's, everything's um, blurry now. Oh yeah, they lost to G2. I remember now. Um, and then was pretty convincing. So I think it's ob it's obvious in terms of matches. But that's the thing with putting G two in there. They went three zero in the RMRs, right? They they were able to get through really easily. They beat into the into the beach uh, thirteen to three. Uh, they had a, a bit of a tussle against Eternal Fire sixteen thirteen, and then a two zero victory over Phase. Right? Oh. Well, come on, man. That into the breach roster. What a fucking joke that was. Don't like ever. Disrespect my friend again, Chad Birch. Thomas is out of there. Thank God. He's made the now right he decision. Is, but he was there when they fucking fell over in Bucharest. So let's not be pointing any things or making fun of okay? I wasn't making fun of Thomas. <laughs> they tried just... their best as a team. They and it definitely didn't work did. Out. They did try their best. Yeah. Um, so, so like G2, you can and say like... They basically folded the whole organization <laughs> and fucking took off their fucking pants and beat uh, themselves. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? 
It's, it didn't go well, did it? Uh, so you could make a conversation for G2 in terms of their form from the RMR was very strong. And that's the last officials they've played, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, should they be favorites? Because Spirit also lost a map to Metsiport. I know Metsiport also have good form, but I, mean, I don't think G2 would lose a map to Metsiport right now if they played. And I don't think Spirit went. I don't know. Spirit didn't go 3 0 <laughs> in the RMRs either. Spirit lost to Mouse. Metsiport. Metsiport. Lost to Mouse in the RMRs 2 0. No, but Metsiport in the um, Blast Showdown. In the, um, no, in but the I'm just saying that like, the only. The G2 team... looked insane after that demo. Let me just check these results here. I feel like we're sleeping on the G2 boys. I think we can all agree. Number one spirit, number two phase, number three vitality. G2 two four, old G2. phase, or maybe three four. You can maybe even swap. Like, but this that. is this is the thing. Like what what we're saying now. Obviously, for these teams, they're all top teams, and for them, they just had to get through the RMR and qualify for the major, right? And all four of those names are in the top eight. They're in the elimination stage. They don't need to worry about the opening stage. But this is where like form is debatable. Because Spirit have played more, obviously, in, in recent times with this online tournament of the Blast no. Showdown. But no. G2 just swept. Like, they had a close game against Eternal Fire. I think Eternal Fire could have, excuse me, could have won that game. Eternal Fire um, also nearly beat Phase as well, right? That's where they played them really close. You know, I think Eternal Fire, like, when we do this power ranking in a second, are going to be quite high up on yeah, my power ranking. I sure. think Eternal Fire are fucking sick. Like, I love the type of counter they're playing. I think the biggest thing is sometimes they start, like, trying to make it too complicated. Um, but I think they have good firepower. I think they got good strategies. But this is the thing. This is the conversation we're going to get into now as we head forward um, with the power rankings. Is this is going to be a difficult conversation, and it's going to probably take us some time to get through it. So we are going to have to make some difficult choices. We are going to upset some fan bases, and I kind of want to go through each of these names. So um, I guess we can bring it up now. Dimitri built this for us on Google uh, Slides, and it's very nice. He did a very good job. Lucas can bring this up for everybody. And we're going to go from 1 to 24 in no particular order, right? We can just be throwing names in here anywhere, and we can shift them around, and I'll do all the moving and everything, and we'll work out where these teams okay, are going to end okay. up. So are we all happy to put Spirit number one as yep. the power rankings with the form? Yep, I'm outvoted. Let's fucking go, Donk. Okay. That's my goat. All right. Well, so, so I, Prof, you didn't say anything. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine? I don't yeah. think Spirit are going to win the yeah. major, FYI. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't you worry. Uh, who, do we have anybody, like, who are really huge contenders for a team that we think... Like, for me, it's probably one of the teams who came through the Americas in last... for, like, down towards 24. Now you want to um, go like zigzag? I mean, or what? well, we we don't we I, we don't have to go one two three four five six seven eight nine. Like we like we're gonna but have to, be better all to do over it backwards. I mean, maybe but like twenty four, twenty four. I think there are maybe like three teams you could probably put in there, okay. which is who are they? Like Linvision is one of them for sure. Okay, um, I think that's that's like an obvious pick that a lot of people will go even in the pickings for zero three. And then you have like Legacy, probably like another another one that, that that you could put in there, just because their results like even in the Americas RMR, like the teams they beat on the way weren't like among the teams that we expected to go through or something like yeah. that, you know? So Same like from pain, that perspective, though. I was going to say like pain as the third one that yeah. they, they both didn't have the most, uh, the most difficult way uh, to the major. And they also didn't have the best results before this. So I think those are probably the three main candidates. So pain beat legacy. So keep yeah, that in I, mind. That's exactly what I did. Like, I mean, mine, mine goes 24, 11 vision, 23, legacy, 22 pain. Yeah. Okay. So let's kind of... bad. Who plays for Lin Vision? Do they upset um, some people? G, Amelia. Okay, okay just, just add, okay, just, yeah. Next. But, like, that that's the thing. You know what? I don't, actually, I feel like they're not going to go 0 3, but realistically, like, you have to put them in, like, somewhere. But they're 43rd the bottom. in the world. Yeah, they're pretty, like, then I don't think they're that bad. I think they're, no, I think they're, they're all right. They call um, West Melon. Just yeah, fucking go. It just <laughs> is watermelon in Chinese. <laughs> Um, so this is who Legacy beat in their RMR run. 2-1 versus Nouns, 2-0 versus MIBR, and a 2-1 versus M80, who had obviously death standing in for Manx, and their initial game was the loss to Pain. So I would say that Legacy beat better teams to qualify, but they lost to Pain. Right, and they kind of got screwed. So that makes think, it quite difficult. I think what um, Shrager said, just do that one. Was it tw Lin 24? You put Lin Vision Legacy, last. Then, then? I, I like Lin Vision for last. I, I think there's there's definitely a conversation to put like either like, like a zero there beat? depending on how you look at the America's RMR. Like they, Lin realistically, Vision? they are the ones they are the ones with the least going into the going into the major because they also yeah. didn't do that much like the last time, the last couple of times that they. Um, they played internationally. The first major for all five of them. They got yeah. slammed by Mongols and they had a 2-1 series against Greyhound. Greyhound, yeah, that's who they had yeah. to yeah. The Tai Lu and Doc. 
I don't think it's uh, the craziest run. Okay, so we'll put Linvision in. I'll begrudgingly put Linvision in 24th. <laughs> you wouldn't have put them in 24th? Where would you put them? Ninth. I, the fuck, look, man. I need, need I need Linvision and Mongols to have a fucking right. absolute blind of a look, run Mongols, at this major. Mongols ah. would actually end up pretty, pretty far in this power ranking, so let's let's give them that. that uh... They need to get another spot for the Asian RMR so that the Aussie boys can finally get back into a major. Because I don't, I, I don't know what's going to happen in the future with Australian counter strap boys if we don't, if Mongols this, don't earn us this, an extra is, spot. Is this like self, self-serving self wish here, Chad? You know, you've, been, just... you've been... You've been talking shit about how you're going to put like a new Aussie team together and blah, blah, blah. This is for your Yeah, I need a right? handicap, bro. Give exactly, me your fucking yeah. hand. Like, at least there make it go. easy for me. I'm trying to make good on all these promises. I'm not going to give you a handy. I don't know what... Oh, I said a, ha- a hand, all right? Okay. Uh, so are we putting Pain or Legacy as 23rd? Legacy. Really? Call, call zero on the I fucking like AVP. I, yes, 23rd. I put them Let's at 23, but I was contemplating it for a long time, 22, 23. I don't know. I watched their games and I... It's based on form and Payne just beat them. What are we arguing here? I know, yeah, exactly. but Legacy beat better spirit. teams. Get out of here. When it mattered, they played and they fucking lost. What the hell yeah, does that mean? Yeah, fine. But I mean, fine. that's that does, that's not always how it goes, right? That's like one team just because the, the head-to-head went a certain way that they're going to do this like better they also the, beat like, against the <laughs> legacy beat pain online 13-3 and then lost 13-2 oh on, on land. Yeah, then. <laughs> it's nah. one more round, so obviously. I don't know. Look, uh, those two teams, I'm kind of like, whatever. Okay. Also, I feel like Payne just has better players, if I'm completely honest. We have Big okay. Zera, they have NQZ. <laughs> Wait, should Lin Vision be last? Because I feel like Greyhound would beat Legacy and Pin, and they beat Greyhound. Ooh. Am I mental to say that? Because Greyhound are decent. Yeah, we, we have a con- contest here. Well, they are not, because they did. No, but they are, though. <laughs> no, but they, I mean, they are. Like, they're definitely decent. I, I would take Greyhound in the best of three versus Legacy and fucking Pain. That's for sure. Maybe I'll lose all my money. That's why I've got no money. Maybe, but who knows? Now, like, smooth is talking sense. I like about, I, I like the logic honestly. Like I actually I actually like the logic. I and, was, they, and look, they destroyed yeah. them as well. Like it was they lost the first map kind of close, but then it was like body bag two oh like the last two. So hey. now, now look, look, which fan base is gonna be more vocally angry at us, the Brazilians <laughs> or the Chinese? Oh god. That's not, that's not a factor. Let's put an Imperial and stuff like top three. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be bothered with this. Fury first. <laughs> yeah, we're Imperial second. <laughs> I think this is good. I think this is good. We don't have to like go into the weeds, you know, plus right. minus a few spots. It is what it is. <laughs> I, I, I'm with Smoothie though. I want to let the record show that I had put Lin Vision ahead of Pain and Legacy. I just want to let the record show. Okay, so you guys would have gone uh, 22. Yeah, right? then, yeah. Both of you would have gone 22, or what's, what was your, your idea? Yeah, Smooth? I would just swap, like, yeah, move yeah. like Lin to the left, all 21, and move them okay, all to the right. Keep it, keep it as it is. Can I, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I throw in. One for twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. I, I like wanna, this. I want to say nine pandas. Yeah, I was I was gonna put them twenty-fourth. I was I gonna do ecstatic, but but I have nine mm. pandas right next. So I don't know. I have nine pandas higher. They did mm. they did win a bunch of. I think Glowing's gonna do I that again. Like they played good. They should have qualified super early. They kind of choke. They have like a choking, a bit of a bit of a pressure thing going on. But then that game against Astralis, Glowing. Yeah, that was. I am just so fucking in awe of this guy, of this man, of this seasoned Wait, human. Wait, Panda's thirty-one saw. Oh, mama, this this form ranking's getting right. tough. Right, this is this is really I mean, hard. But Saul, yeah. but Saul, in my like, opinion, at the end, just destroyed everybody, and now they do well at the showdown. So it's kind of hard to to. In to my make opinion, that ecstatic call, you know? for sure. Like they only played kind of bad teams, and online had no results really before i would Bro, say i might have to put so higher actually i realized because i made this before the showdown or something or like yeah, as the showdown started the show and i might <laughs> actually have to put so a bit higher because of that i'd put ecstatic here but then we can talk about we can talk about nine pandas i don't okay. know okay all right putting ecstatic in 21 but slightly higher so i think ah. ecstatic i was i was my reasoning was because of the road the, the road they had because they beat like okay they went from the open qual but they beat to get to the to the major, they beat uh, Monte OG Guild, League, Guild Eagles. So it was like kind of fringe, like not bad teams, but very fringe teams on the on the Beatable on teams, the cusp. Yeah, yeah, no but teams that we expected sense. to go through to make right, it for so. sure. Yeah, for, yeah. Okay, I, I, I would. Yeah, I don't think that's fair actually. So, did we have a team for twenty? I have you nine pandas have... here. Yeah, well, what do you have, Mister? I'd Oof. put nine pandas. I mean, what do you think? What about put... something like M call? What about an M call? Like here? there's this, there's like a group of what like about nine Mongols? pandas, M call, koi. Mongols. 
Not Mongols. Oh, what are, what are Mongols, Mongols, Mongols are gonna make Mongols the next farm stage. some fucking noobs in Asia, and everyone's just like, no, yeah, no, now no. they're now they're a top ten team. It's like Mongols are decent, bro. Their players in FPL like they're fucking decent, boss. They, I think they won FPL both weeks they were here, and that doesn't say much, but would, like I, they shit on everyone. Mongols clear koi. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. that's oh, they're I not called that. Movie Star anymore, mate. Okay, fuck those guys actually. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> Mongols <laughs> almost almost took a map of Spirit and almost beat Ants. Like, what else do you need? Like, that's the last time they played against good teams, and then they destroyed the Asian RMR, like, completely, like, not even a chance. So I feel like they definitely deserve, like, a little bit of a nudge against all these teams that haven't really played anybody so good on the way. next from those teams? Yeah, I mean, so it has to be... Nine pandas. I think I have... Amcal's better than Nine Pandas. There's, like, Koi, Amcal, Nine Pandas, maybe Imperial, like, in yeah, this conversation, I feel like. That's a group. Okay, Mongols. so let's go, no, let's go Nine Pandas, a 20. I think that I agree that Amcal should be better than Nine Pandas, but the type of Counter Strike Amcal played at the RMR, even though they qualified, was pretty fucking rough around the edges, mate. Like for the for the core of that team, what Forrester Crad, Nickelback, well, actually, now that I'm thinking about the games of Counter Strike that Amcal played, maybe I would put Nine Pandas ahead of them. There we go. Oh, like no, use no. your let's, use your let's, use your brain. Bro. Let's stop fucking getting crazy here, guys. We're getting off. Use your brain. <laughs> we're all we're all fucking smoking some good stuff here. We need to fucking chill the fuck out before something crazy happens. So and I think Nine Pandas, Nine Pandas actually were supposed to win that series, from what I remember. For like sure. I remember, I remember sure. some Nine Pandas I'm called series actually, and I remember thinking they, had like, it in the bag, they threw guys. it away right <laughs> at some point. And they're right, gonna play it by the them. way, they're gonna play each other. So this is also they're gonna play each other in the first round. So this is, this? This? this is us. This is us making a, a stand. You know, like top eight players with most major playoffs uh, appearances. You know who's there? Seized, and True. he's gonna do it. Okay, so four versus two. Do it. By I do it. I mean, beat them, Colin. This game. <laughs> okay. That's that's what I mean. Okay, I, I'm I'm okay with that to be honest. With that, um, with we that can switch. put Koi next. We can put Koi next. at 19 or 18. Oh, yeah. Koi then Imperial then, right? Oh no. Could even put Imperial here to be honest. Wait, at 19 or or 18? I think oh, I think 18, Koi's better 18. than Imperial. No. Koi Who or the Im fuck plays for Imperial. I Koi Imperial didn't have really um... played that much to be honest. I don't really don't know where. Like to Imperial is really that's difficult Vinny because Phelps they haven't played long. anybody good. <laughs> Because they they've just been in NA and that's all or like the South back America. With the majors, baby. <sighs> they were they yeah. kind of stomped the fucking RMR though. That's the point. Like they are, they look like they're in a really Wait, good form. What so they it's... won 13 two, 13 three, 13 five, 13 If we're they talking our rankings, <laughs> Imperial should be a bit higher. Let's yeah. Let's, 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 let's go with Koi next. Huh? Let's go with Koi. I would say now, now it's now it's Imperial. I think. Prof, you've lost your fucking mind. I would put bro, fucking heroic. Bro, what's the last Mongols. time? What's the, what's the last time it. Mongols played a European team? What, what are we? bro. I was just telling you they almost yeah. took a wipe off Spirit that they almost beat Ants. When's the last time Imperial played playoff? anybody? Like, what do you want of any almost, relevancy? Almost, almost. I hear a lot of almost right here. When was the last? Imperial lost what did you see? What did you see? Two Wait, whoa, anybody? a lot of almost. The Nine Pandas almost beat Amcal, buddy. You fucking chill out, <laughs> Mr. Fucking Almost. Like almost none of these, fucking the point is, like, none of these teams below them like ever actually played decently against any of these teams, like the top yeah, yeah, teams. Okay, so it's feel like okay. it feels like there's no way we can put to the be Mongols honest, below in them. In my brain, when I watched these, like when Mongols lost to Ants and Spirit at the time, it wasn't that good because like Ants and Spirit weren't at. They didn't still. They didn't go into the playoffs of Katowice yet. So right. their their like mental framing in my brain was like, okay, they just lost some noobs. Uh, but okay, okay, we can <laughs> we can put some. Um, I maybe I need to redo my. Uh, this, noobs. this gets really hard now. Can we go to number two? Can we get number two? Yeah, again? we can start yeah, from yeah. the top again. Are we I going mean, vitality think, or phase? Oh, I think so phase. Far. I think you phase. have to make phase because of the because of uh, Karavitsa. For sure, phase. Okay. No, there's no. Really? I think and vitality. I think vitality. Like okay, they they did great at the RMR. They well, I mean, they still lost to Cloud Nine. They both hmm. went three one. You know, so it's not like they we had... forgot about the Apex. To be honest, but that, okay. Oh, that's a good point. I think Apex is the next convert. Oh, there's not. I need to ask a question, though, guys. I need to ask Smoother a question about Mezzi and Vitality. Oh, okay. okay. How, are you, know, feeling, how are you feeling about Mezzi and Vitality, Smoother? I found out he has a tattoo on his leg. That kind of caught me off guard. I saw him in some shorts on a Twitter post. He has a full fucking blown tattoo on his leg. But in Vitality, it scares me because I've said to Will for a long time that he needs a tiny bit of ego. But in that team, you. You can't really have an ego, and he's signed up to be like a full bitch, right? Like the full fucking Mac 10 guy dropping AKs, whatever, whatever. 
it's I don't know, man. I I believe in Will too much as a person for it not to work. Like if if they're gonna turn, he's a very good player. Bro, I just think the role insane, doesn't man. suit his skill set. The thing is with Will is he can he, he's like a better version of S3 Tag, but actually has a role, which is a star rifler. Whereas S3 Tag kind of does a little bit of everything all the time, right? Like he can do that. He can lurk. He can go first. He can even AWP. He can fucking IGL. He can do everything. Very good level. But I think for that role, as you say, I would take a better version in that role, you know, like because he's replacing Magis, like it's kind of hard. Um, but you can't replace Sphinx with Mezzi because that's the roles that Will would usually play. Um, but if anyone makes it work, it's him, bro. It's fucking, it's fucking insane. He's the he's the king. The, okay. the uke, the uke. So I, I wanted to get your star. opinion on it because I wanted. To, all right, all right. So all he, right. He's a living legend. He will go down. Uh, a lot you of words, a lot of words. Did, yeah. Even though he didn't say anything bad, he did. Uh, there's a hint of worry in his answer, Chad. Right? Well, he Messi and Vitality. No, you're you're worried for Messi. I feel like. I think if Messi gets kicked from Vitality, he within this, he has five of the top ten teams offering him a spot Even in simple that star together. Role. Oh yeah, they would dominate some kind of team. I don't know which team, but they would dominate. <laughs> it would be Jova. But yeah, he, he's definitely got a long future and a lot of pennies to be made from this game. So I'm not stressing for him at all. Can can I make um, an argument for four? Okay. Uh, you're don't, say go complexity. don't say complexity. <laughs> I was actually, I, I was going to say mouse. Yeah, I that's, had not, Mouse there that's, that's not crazy. I had Mouse there as well, so I'm I'm down with that. For me, it's Mouse G2 are the two. No, Mouse can't be five. better than G2, right? Why? Oh wait, next hand Hunter. No, next. I hand think G2. G2. I'm still kind of. I'm still like mm. cautious about what to believe at the moment. You know, like okay, they beat Phase, but other than that, they lost to them in Katowice, which was the more important game. You know, just before that, so. Like a week Mouse number before four. that. That seems. Do we think they're gonna finish top four at the major? This is how no, I'm looking at this no, ranking. No, no, no. That's not they how could. you should look at this ranking. It no. is though, because if people with the best form should finish in said position, no. Yeah, but I it's matchup specific. Four... It's best of ones. I There's lots Mouse... of things to think about. But we're not thinking about that when we do this ranking. But I can't see Mouse finishing top four at the major. I mean, Mouse is fourth in the ranking ahead of G2 at the moment as well. And that's uh, for good reason. And they finished top four in Cologne, in Katowice. <laughs> Damn, Mouse have won the fucking major. Let's get them in fourth, guys. I don't know shit about this. Okay, well, hold yeah, up, hold up. What about VP? Because we're sleeping on them a little bit. They Mouse went 3 0. <laughs> they went 3 0. They beat Saw 13 to 6. They, they beat Fnatic 13 to 3. They went out in the plan to a fucking. They're dog shit, yeah. To Cloud9 <laughs> and Gamer Legion. Not the worst okay. teams. Not the worst okay. teams, but that's not, a major not, top, right not top four material. Man. <laughs> that's a major finalist. In the GL, let's not be throwing. Yeah, two of the two of the five major finalists. Okay, <laughs> okay. So three, three sorry. We put Ma but if would we, we put... do Mouse or would we do G two? We could do Mouse and G two. Who beat better. harder teams at the Armor? Because that's all we can base it we off for these. Uh, well, Mouse Spirit, Mouse beat Spirit, and they're number one on the ranking, so they have to go number four. That's... So actually, Mouse is number one now. Holy shit, Mouse would have made that. <laughs> we cracked the code. I mean, they played like G two played. Who did they played before? No, before that. Eternal Fire into the Breach. I mean... Oh, into the Breach doesn't count. Into the Breach is good. difficult. You, That's fire a diff is good. No one expected then... them to win that game, though, first Into the Breach, and they managed to pull the upset off. <laughs> so we're like that. <laughs> Why the fuck are you... Hey! Where's the <laughs> go? Why are you laughing? But I went into that game, I thought, oh, if, if G2... If they win a pistol, first gun... <laughs> It could be. It could be. It could be. It could be close. You know what I'm saying? I oh, think, Thomas. I oh. think form just pure form. I think you have to put Mouse because okay. Okay. because they did better in Karavitsa. They uh, six, they beat Spirit. Would you put so, VP next after this? I don't know. There's like Navi. Navi I'd good say though. There's like now that's like very down to like, like this, preference. This is very right? debatable because like you have even like. Maybe not now, heroic because they fucked it in the showdown. But that was like that would have been maybe a conversation for like the next three, four teams. It can't be Navi. Actually, I checked their games. They beat Koi Enterprise, lose to VP two O, and then two one versus Bet Boom. Like it's not the most juicy. Fucking and watching scalp, Navi play in Katowice was hard to watch. Like watching them play Ancient and like miss elbow smokes and miss mollies. I was like, bro, this they is... lost the Spirit, beat up, yeah. beat us on fire, lost the Falcon. But, like, who do you put then? Like, does it have to be VP then? VP, maybe, yeah. Like, it's weird because VP, because of Karavica, seems very... I feel like... Off. 
I would say I did VP, put them next, yeah. actually. I'm looking at, but that was, yeah. I did put Maybe VP, VP then Navi. I put VP6, Navi how, 7, where would Heroic go? 8. Heroic? Uh, okay. Honestly, uh, this is very tricky area here. Nah, I don't think like, it's a tricky area. VP then VP then. Do you want to start from Navi. the end again? <laughs> let's just go. Yeah, let's okay. Just, <clears throat> yeah, okay, okay. Number 16. <laughs> I mean, okay, so here, I guess you also have a few, but probably you have like Furia. Apex? Uh, Saw. Furia? Uh, no we, way, still put put high, Saw. we still haven't put Saw. I think Syria is on top. Mongols. I think I would put Saw above Mongols because of the Blast showdown. Saw, thing. Saw has to be on top of this group somewhere like 11th or something, realistically. They just like right, farm Let's put them in the 11 and we'll see where they end up when we go through. Where would the fuck would Cloud9 go? Because they should be winning stuff, but God, they always don't do too well. Probably, Probably, yeah, middle I of the think road. we need to put like Apex and Furia in e any order here. In so, like, like 9, 15, 10, 15, I have them 16, really? 15 as well. I in have what 15 order? Furia, 15 Apex. Okay, I'll do that as well. We're just using HLTV TV rankings here, guys, because these are e eerily similar. This is kind of freaking me out. Is it? Apex is number 14. Wait, where's Furia right now? Let me take a look. I think yeah, like, now there's a bunch of teams okay. who are not now the major, so now come on, prof, man. Come on, man. Come on, prof. This is man. Mongols area. He, I mean, this is do you think... done. I... No, that no, that has to be Mongols. I have. The teams left. Come on. I have. I have... Man? No, okay, Mongols. I have now. After I put Saw above all these teams, I put <laughs> Complexity and then Mongols. So 14 Complexity, 13 Mongols. No See? way, Mongols get it. What? Come on, have... who have Complexity beaten who are worth their like Complexity salt? have not looked good recently. Like, okay, they beat Liquid, but that's a very struggling Liquid. How like, can that's... they be in front of Apex and Furia? Mate, Mongols beat Furia Complexity beat... 9 okay, out so of 10 times. Fury Fury just, logic. Destroyed Furia everyone, beat right? them. Furia beat them now, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. But They so destroyed like... them. They dismantled okay. them. I would they put Mongols 16 and move them to the left. Mongols so Furia... 16? Boss, Greyhound wouldn't be 13th. Let's let's just shout out what you're doing but, here, but, but it's not bro, working. Boss. Mongols is much better than Greyhound does the RMR. Okay, so. true, Mongols, yeah, Mongols true, beat Greyhound true. with their Bongos eyes closed. Mongols destroyed them. Uh, that'd be that'd be weird. Blitz didn't even get out of bed, mate. He didn't even need to. He just let Mizino and Senzu run around to these like, fucking 17 put, and 16 year old kids. Mongols is the 13th best team there. The, don't don't put Mongols in the same conversation as the other Asian RMR teams because they went 13-4 against Greyhound, Greyhound 13-8, 13-3 against Linvision. Like they this that was not a competition. Like they I, were just miles ahead. I don't watch that. I don't watch that region. Okay, that's why I'm. Started, I did actually watch I, Asian I, RMR. They I looked. Like the they just though. looked fucking con con confident. Okay, okay you want to put complexity here now? I, I, feel like complexity, I feel like yeah. complexity name value is higher than this. If a leash yeah. doesn't carry, and we're talking about doesn't war, not, but he fucking will. But he fucking will. Yeah. He fucking will. You heard that guy chat. Like he I, fucking will. I do agree in some sense. Like the, he fucking will, boss. He like fucking I, will. Okay, if I'm thinking about like who has higher who has higher potential to go far, I agree with you that it's complexity. But power ranking, I would still put Mon Mongols ahead. So we put complexity 14, Mongols 13. Then who the fuck's 12? It's getting confusing here. That's like Cloud9. I like it. Probably Cloud9 like it, goes bro. here. Cloud9 goes 12, here. Right? What about Ents? Yeah, but they, they would go 10. Power ranking, they, they are better than that now. Who did they no, think so? I'm going to have to look through Ents. Like, I did these power ranking like four days ago, and things have changed since then, so I don't remember what happened. I don't think Navi are very good. Ooh, and it's played pretty good for Spirit, I see here, at the... I mean, 30-0, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking pretty good. Oh, <laughs> I want to put... I want to put... I want to put Eternal Fire at 6. Whoa. Okay. I think that's, that's where I put them. Chok... I'm completely Chok... Sure. Chok Guzelke dash. I put... <laughs> what does that mean? Very good, brother. <laughs> Chocolate <laughs> dash. No, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, Chok Guzelke dash. I put Eternal Fire at 9. But I was I was contemplating putting look, my like my, it was supposed to be a hot take, but literally it's not because everybody's like, okay, there's a chance they will make it to the playoffs. Like I was gonna say, like a turtle fowler is gonna make it to the major playoffs like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was gonna say that. And now it's not a hot take because like everybody seems to think it apparently. <laughs> they play good counter strike. I like the only time I don't yeah. like, like them a lot. When they they're gonna be if they're gonna be the high break team, they're gonna okay, destroy me emotionally. Here's yeah, a, the major. I see it already. Let's here's just put an, eight then, because that means top eight, right? Here's an argument for close. for Eternal Fire to be to be at least like somewhere in the top eight, right, or close to the only teams that they've lost to since Karavita's phase, Navi G two phase. 
And they were that's like literally really the only four games. They were that's like the really four close teams that games, they lost, right? Every yeah, day. yeah. Maybe not phase, Navi. phase G two, and again, Phase they were all close games. Yeah. Navi, I don't remember that game. I don't. No, they got kind of destroyed on the second, third map. That but was, yeah, that they, was played, a shit they game. played. They played Phase and G two. They played Phase and G two close twice. Twice Phase and once G two. They played close. Like this is. Like you don't do that on multiple occasions without being a decent team. Like I think they are somewhere in that conversation. Crazy and putting them safe because they could be sixth, they could be fifth. You never know. But just who do you want? I wouldn't put them. No, okay. I wouldn't put them above like G two. But like, but if I you think, think that they in make this top group, eight, there's definitely a, a world like game. I can't find an argument for putting VP above them. And yeah, I agree. Like also, Navi is kind of there, kind of not there. Like. The the group stage of of blast was good. The clone not really, and I see so many like players on that team that I don't trust. So for me, Eternal Fire, Navi, Virtus Pro. That's the next. I would still put VP over Navi, maybe, but but it's not necessarily power ranking. It's more like I know what they did in Karavitsa wasn't VP. We haven't mentioned heroic. Yeah, they're number nine. Okay. I could also see them in top eight, to be honest. I think they've been playing really good. They did get dumpstered by Spirit and by, uh, where is it? Uh, Vitality. Oh. Well, they didn't get dumpstered by Spirit. It was 13, (laughs) 8, 13, 11. But they got dumpstered by Vitality and a best of one, 13, 3. And then. I think the six to to eight is kind of like open, right? It's kind of could go either way. Okay. Do we want, do we just want to put the Thermal Fire now then? Like yeah. six. I feel like yeah. there's a world. There's definitely a, an argument there. I'd go VP seven. I would say VP the Navi and then number nine heroic. That's what I have. Number ten. I would put number ten cloud nine. I have to that too. Yeah. Because Ents just lost to B eight in the Yeah, we can put the Ents so, below Saw, to be honest. I think Ents are overrated. On, based on power ranking. And who's overrated? Ent. Who would have much? That's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Fans. I that's what this is what I have in mind. Like uh now, now Navi, Heroic, and or Heroic Navi, and then Cloud9. I, I go Heroic fine. Navi, Cloud9. Let me, yeah, see, yeah, like, let me re- remind myself of the... What did, who did Cloud9 play? Heroic beat good I don't remember actually. that much. They beat Vitality on the way to the, to the Major, I guess. But they lost to Saw in the, in the showdown, so it's kind of hard. They beat... But what? Oh, guys, Heroic... They beat Vitality three. at the RMR. Wait, who are we debating against? Ensign... Oh, no. no, it was like this group of VP heroic. Navi, Honestly, Cloud Nine. heroics on a on a they beat Breezy and Ents. Never mind, they lost to OG though. Oh mama! Why are people so people in chat like don't like that Navi's been put this low? But what have Navi? Like, Their team fucking sucks. Not but true. have Navi even like what I game think... of Counter Strike of Navi looks solid in? People that think Navi should be top four still think Simple's on the fucking roster. That shit's old fucking news, boys. It's a new fucking squadron. They, they definitely yeah. will do good, but it's hard to say of. I mean, look, done, like, that they will okay, do, so like, like if you look at look at their results in the past two tournaments, right? Okay, lost to Spirit, win against Apex, win against Eternal Fire, lost to Falcons, win against Koi, win against Enterprise, lost to Virtus Pro, win against Bad Boom. They haven't beaten anybody good. Eternal Fire, okay. This guy stinks. Wait, the two or G two twice though. That was a while ago though. That was the blast group stage, right? That's yeah. when when they did look. They looked good. insane, yeah. Yeah, but wasn't that first event of the year? Yeah, that's so not that really. That fucking means nothing. Yeah, Definitely that's what I'm. Something, but that's why I'm saying like that's that like, everybody I need just... to quantify all of the results differently. And like, I think Eternal Fire at six, you you can, based on the results, you can kind of uh, question that. But I think the games that they, whenever they lost, they looked really good, and then they also yeah. beat a bunch of teams. Yeah. So, I I think they're up there. I think obviously between like six and eight, nine is pretty tight. But uh, I. Like I six like to ten, I, I'm, I was like contemplating forever, man. Like who to like this exactly this group. Just look at it in like levels, though. I think like the bottom line looks about right. The middle line looks about right. Maybe you could move one or two people right on the top yeah, line. Think... You could move like the last three on the line. So I think yeah. you've done like a good job if you gauge it like that. I think that's I think that's fair. Like because you break them up into segments, and it's not like yes. eight, yeah. sixteen, twenty-four. Yeah, it's yeah. like top top eight would be like let's say playoffs contenders ish. Oh, that's why I think if you could... Yeah, go on, sorry. No, you're right. What were you uh, going to say? I, like, as you said, if you break it up like that, like, let's say the top eight we think will be the top eight teams at the major, right? Yeah. You could just put Eternal Fire as eighth because you think they're going to make playoffs, but it doesn't have to be like they're going to, like, cruise the playoffs. Right. They might, like, struggle, you know what I mean? But I mean, you could also say, like, these the six, seven, eight, there's three, two teams. 
like the last round of like who's gonna go through yeah, the last true. round. Oh, that's know? true. Like, yeah. Switch, yeah. Let's say, let's say, like obviously we're not talking about like this is gonna be the result of the major, but at least we can use that as kind of like a gauge. Yeah, then, for, if you for like the, that for metric, the form. then it looks good. I think super good. This is what I like though, because people in Twitch chat are losing their fucking mind, and this is great <laughs> because this is exactly what we because want. Because Cloud Nine are big brand names and ants as well, I guess to to some degree, right? And we've put them fairly low considering what the brand is, but oh, I, I, I think. Well, I want to clarify. I'm not saying it's great they're losing their minds because we've done something controversial. I think it's great that they lo people are losing their minds because they disagree because everybody has a different right? view. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody has a different view on who they think is good and who is bad. And right, we've done this as four. And if we all did this individually, it would probably look different from one another. And we did this like, you know, chipping in and having a discussion. And obviously we have to compromise. So this is what we have decided on of the four individuals here with us just having a conversation over the last, what, 40 minutes? And this is the type of, and this is also, we're not saying this is going to be places one to 24. No, right? we are. We are saying that, guys. We're chance. thinking about form. We're thinking about a lot of things going into this, like the type of counter strike that we're seeing played. And it's great because if we all had the same opinion and we knew exactly who was going to be one to 24, life would be pretty fucking boring. This is going to be obviously the most predictable major. And this is exactly how people will be ranked. So you don't even have to tune in. So it's good. It's going to be this, super obvious. I think it is, more, it is more predictable than the last few have been. So. I just hope you all do. This is major? That's a troll, right? Is no, I mean, as I said, like, I don't think there's as many teams that I would see it win see winning it, to be honest. I think what makes this major seemingly, like, you can kind of see the playoff teams, there's going to be, like, maybe two, like, different from what we have, is, first of all, the seeding is much better, and the group stages are organized properly, so you don't have these weird, like, favorites for the major, two favorites for the major play yeah, yeah, first, first match the... in the opening, opening yeah. stage, yeah, which yeah, we yeah. had in the past with, like, we had, like, I remember, like, Liquid Astralis playing one year. Uh, at the, that was, I think, the face it major they opened, and then we had, like, Vitality phase in Rio, I think. Also the opening game, or, or like, Navi, Vitality, one of these, like, big yeah. teams playing. So we have that. It was organized. all the like four team, four teams in like in two rounds that they played all each other or some shit, and that's yeah. why Phase ended up in the zero two. That's why Vitality ended up. I don't remember Phase, Phase, Phase Cloud Nine, Vitality were all in this in that group. Yeah, so I think that's gonna make it uh, like better for favorites. But of course, there's gonna be a team or two that overperform based on what we saw so far so also like some of the bo1 upsets are just prob like probably bound to happen right at least one or two that we're not expecting and that's just going to screw some some matchup down the line that's just going to put two favorites against each other so it is going to happen in some way all right well look that was uh our power ranking let's uh quickly jump into the opening matches and just have a quick discussion about those lucas i'll link it here in TeamSpeak if you can just bring this match page up and you can zoom in a little bit on the eight games um, we'll what I'm gonna, by the way, what I wanted to kind of maybe for people as we were talking about, like, uh, you know, presenting the basic info about Copenhagen, like, this is actually a pretty big point that Prof just brought up, you know, about the seating. It's like, I was looking at this opening stage and the way I was thinking about it, okay, this does look like what a main qualifier would have like used to be. Like when we still had the the top eight teams qualifying for the next major, you know, and like they, they, have, they were the legends, they were the ones starting from the, uh, from the second stage already. Uh, and this is more, this is more like it, you know, in terms of like what the top eight teams actually are and them being uh, ahead at the major, you know, this, this set of teams looks like they should be qualifying for what would have been the major proper. Yeah, I think we don't, didn't, I, I can't really say from the top of my head, but I, I don't think we ever had like a, the, the eight in, invited teams being as good as they are now no, ranked on HLTV, so. number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and then complexity number 13, because they're the US team, right? Yeah. So realistically, top seven teams are top seven uh, already in like the, the seeding of the tournament, yeah. which is going to probably lead to more like expected results. Oh, well. Let's jump into these matches. Sunday, the uh, 17th of March is when it kicks off. Uh, so we've got Clown Unecstatic, Eternal Fire Mongols, Ens Imperial, Apex Pain, Nine Pandas versus Amcal, Heroic, Lin Vision, Fury Legacy, and Saul versus Koi. I like the Iberian matchup as an opener. That one's going to be fiery between the two of them. Brazilian, and Koi. Brazilian matchup, There's Russian so matchup. Many matchups. Yeah. Like, uh, domestic, is that the word? Domestic yeah. matchups. Yeah. What's the one? What's, what's the most interesting matchup for you, Smoo, here on the page? Yeah, pick one. <laughs> Honestly, there's fucking nine pandas Amcal. I want to run that back and see what uh, Mr. Prof has to say after when uh, Amcal <laughs> destroyed well, Okay, ass. so can you bring Thank up, you. can you, do we have the, <laughs> the power ranking? I just wanted to have it next, just to see like which ones are the closest matchups 
technically, you know, for us. Because be nine pandas and call we're literally right next to each other. Yeah, like nineteen we know that. and twenty. Uh, oh, Eternal Fire much. Mongols are like what? Well, for uh, now, six spots off or something. Seven six spots off. Like, that's quite quite far. I'm just looking at the rest. What about um, the Sol and Koi? Is that not that close? Not at all, right? Furia Legacy towards the bottom. Furia 16. Heroic Legacy Lin, Lin Vision is the big one of the bigger differences in Cloud9 Ecstatic as well. That's like huge. Okay, yeah, I like that. Um, I like that a lot. We had Sol Koi, which is 11 and 18. I think what's interesting here is to look for the like the O3 and 3O team. I think like hmm. Legacy, Lin Vision. Legacy, a little, a little. they might play each other, right? In like the Bro, two games. Nice, well. Bobby, Legacy could legit beat bit Fury. I feel like. Oh, Cold Zero way. versus Fallen. Let's my, go. My matchup of the day, like, well, obviously we don't know what my matchup of the round is. Uh, Eternal Fire Mongols. I was, yeah, the, I was yeah, looking at that one too. Yeah. It's like under the radar one. Like people don't know that game's gonna bang, but that game is gonna bang. I think. Um, I think. Heroic Lin Vision could be interesting with the way like Lin Vision shoot pretty hard. I think that that could be interesting. Right. I the think the Son Son Koi one. I mean, the Iberian matchup is really interesting just because they also Koi also have two of the former Saw players who who barely didn't make it to Antwerp. So there's a lot of history yeah, there as well. Just, and yeah. they've obviously played each other shitloads just because like they like generally those players like there's a lot of history between them because of uh, leagues that no longer exist now. But um, but from that perspective, I feel like that's going to be a a good one, charged one. Bless oh, you. Thank you so much. They played a little bit earlier on in the year, and uh, just looking at it right now, it was RTP Arena Spring Cup 2024 as a blast qualifier. Okay, so it's like a, yeah, like a Iberian qualifier, right? Yeah, that was on the third mm, of February. Saw one. Bro, the, the best game here is Furia Legacy, right? Just for the Cold Zero Fallen, like that has to be like that's gonna. Be I mean, the last time they played, loud. it was like it went it went down to like a overtime decider or whatever, or like not overtime. That was still actually that was still CS:GO, so it wasn't overtime, but it <laughs> was 16-13. I so no, I it said, wasn't decider, but okay. I think, I, I I think said, that one will be best. I just wanted to bring this up so we could take a look at these only matchups and see if there's anything crazy leaping off the page in terms of like results like, like cloud nine should be at ecstatic eternal fire mongols i think is an interesting game I, I don't i couldn't call one i think for ents this is the type of game where i want to see them putting it away if i want to start putting faith should stomp yeah right uh apex versus pain same type of conversation yep. smash, yeah. but you never know the biggie zero factor nine pandas versus amcal it's Easy like amcal. does anybody win <laughs> um heroic versus lin vision same conversation as we're having with ants and apex but would love to see lin vision put up a good fight fear a legacy i think that's exciting from from the the story kind of perspective uh, and saw koi the same kind of scenario there yeah so the, some fun opening games, best of ones, obviously. Um, but now when we, you know, we're almost at nine, but let's... Um, Finally, what the, everyone has been waiting for. Now it isn't scuffed. It's actually pretty nice. It's actually really well done because Dimitri's built us a Pickums as well. So Lucas, if you can bring up the Pickums page on the Google slides that Dimitri has built. Obviously, this is not in the game just yet. Um We will have to wait. Hopefully it gets released tonight. But if Wakadia's signature sticker is not there, then probably not. Um, anyway. We're going to do our own pickums right now. Um, so based off of those opening matchups, this is where we kind of need to decide okay. the zero three teams, right? So it would have to be a Lin Vision or a Legacy, but well, it wouldn't have to be. But do we do we I want to put those based teams? on the matchups? Could be you never know. Based like, on the matchups, based on match up, Legacy the has a Legacy has a better chance to win the opener. So I think from that perspective, I'd also rather go with Lin especially Vision. domestic matchups are kind of can be coin flippy sometimes, you know. What's the major predictor thing? Is it majors? Majors. Dot. I am. Yeah. So we could we could run okay. a quick one of those to help determine sure. it. We can just like <laughs> quick fire yeah, shoot through the these, right? Please? Sorry. You link the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah. That's um, a really cool tool for everybody who's gonna who wants to watch the major and just kind of have, be able to predict a little bit the matchups. Like, okay, so uh, I want to give a shout out to this guy because he's been keeping it up for a long time. Nine and, pandas uh, favorites. That's all I'm gonna say. So, oh, so yeah. let's let's run through these, right? And we'll, we'll vote our way through this. So Cloud9 ecstatic, Cloud9. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tunnel Fire Mongols, EF. Tunnel Fire, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Enter I think, <laughs> so much for the Eternal Fire, the, the yeah. Mongols, the fucking worship. Yeah, but it's a hard so, yeah. game though. They'll win the, uh, yeah. the but, free one. They are playing against the, one of the teams that we actually did put up like for a playoff. So it's kind of oh, hard okay. to... The sixth best team in the event, bro. Yeah. All I'm saying, you <laughs> whoa, instantly whoa. said they're going to lose. So not that much confidence in them. Uh, okay. Uh, Ent Imperial. Ent. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, 
we, yeah, what's we, that? We, we'll go with who that's should a, win. That's who a floating win. mine, okay. as we say in Croatia. I don't know what it means, but but it's a floating mine. Floating mine for for friends. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means, but that's what it is. Apex Pain. Apexy. Okay. Yeah. Heroic yeah. Linvision. Heroic. You gotta give it to Heroic. Now this is a hard one. Nine Pandas Amcal. <laughs> Obviously Amcal. We Amcal. put nine they pandas, played and they We put nine pandas over, so <laughs> we have to do that. Okay. But they also that. played each other like they played each other before that and oh, I don't know. Actually, remember. Glowin's coming for that ass in that game. It's be- well, these are all best ones, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's GG for Amcal. They stand no chance. So if we <laughs> said if we say the favorites win all their opening games, the loser matches will be Ecstatic Legacy, Mongols Koi, Imperial Amcal, and Pain Lin Vision. So to be fair, Pain Lin Vision, I'd probably favor Lin Vision. What? Uh, but there's also a static legacy, which is also not a great. Yeah, we need to focus on the top ones. I think a static will beat legacy if it's best of one. Mongols will rip Koi up. I think Imperial will beat Amcal. Lin Vision Pain, like, you could be onto something. Lin you think Imperial will be Amcal? Yeah. Okay. You think you think Hen wants no, the best of one to fucking who the hell is Nickel? I see. I see. N one's gonna fucking drop some bombs in that game. It's fucking over for those guys already. Bro, where's where what? How did we end up there? What do you mean? We had all the favorites winning. We had Fury ah, okay, okay, winning. Okay. I know I did. I had apart from Amcal now, I guess. Nine pandas I mean, are the favorite. So we did put the favorite through. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. I'm just looking at different matchups. Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. All good. I, so, I, I would put Imperial. I mean, we can also. Hey, no, all good. Oh, no, it's good. fine. It's fine. But who do we think is gonna win? Uh, Ecstatic Legacy. We think Ecstatic wins. In the best of one, I would take it. I think this legacy team, I've literally played against them. Like, they've been a team for a while now. I played against a static. Like, those guys are prep heavy. And legacy don't change much. Like, okay. they're, kind of, they're, a, they're a vibesy team. Like, if they're feeling it, they can win. But if not, <laughs> it's fucking Jova. So, but you also can't really prep because you don't know who you're going to play exactly. Okay. I mean, this is a, a world where we're thinking they're going to play each other, right? And it's same day matchup, though. Same day matchup. Yeah. Though. They have Best like eight, ones. every team has like eight analysts, bro. It's all right, yeah. I'm sure it's right. static, has eight analysts, bro. So <laughs> then the only one here is Pain Lin Vision. I would say I think Lin Vision can win that. I'm, I couldn't, I would not argue. Then we can't, argue. Then we can't put Lin Vision in three. Then we need to change our power rank. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's lots. that's a different thing. That's a different thing. We're not. We weren't taking into account the the matchups. The head to head. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the form. They just fell off after the best of one because the form went down because they lost, and now they're gonna beat them right like this. Let's fucking go. Yeah, yeah, because both of them you. lost. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. One. Um, okay. Legacy say, O3. Legacy it, O3. Legacy O3. What could be Koi O3 the O3 well. game. Then it'll be pain legacy for Don't the touch Man, it looks like at the, like if a favorites go, it's gonna be Lin Vision versus Legacy in the zero two. So so that would be funny. But I think Legacy just has a better chance in the opener. So I think, like, from that, I would rather put... You think Legacy has a Lin better Vision chance against Furia? Than no Lin Vision against Roik, I would say, yeah. I see what he's saying. So he's saying if there was variation because in the opening of results... Domestic, right? I think there's more... There's there's bigger chance that, that it's going to get fucked in the first round already. But do, okay, but Koi could go if... if Like, obviously, we'd have to change some results earlier on. So we could be going down all these different rabbit holes. But yeah. let's say that in the second round, Lin Vision beat Pain. It's Pain Koi, versus Legacy. And Koi is obviously Koi. 3 I'm sorry. We could put Koi 3 Koi is obviously 3 I'm sorry. I, I swear they win the opening game. I swear they beat Saul. They, don't. they beat Saul. Yes. They don't. Koi is obvious 3 it, I'm like, is that that I'm, crazy putting, to say? I'm putting my foot down. I see the It's I not see the that bracket. crazy, Smooth. No, but... I, what, just, let's, let's swap that result around. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, it's a different fucking situation. Well, then it's Saul versus Legacy, Ecstatic, Amcow, Mongols, Lin... Oh, my so God. So this, yeah, exactly. this is the thing. Now it's a bit crazy. If we have the... Saul lose to uh, beat Koi, Koi yeah. go, play Mongols next, lose that, and then they play Amcow. They lose that again. GG. That's, like, pretty decent teams to play. But do you think, like, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, call, I wouldn't call Koi versus Saul, like, such an obvious result I that think... I would feel more comfortable with that, to be honest. <laughs> but it completely is. So. It's either Legacy or Koi. We're going to decide on one of the two. Bro, you can't put Koyo in free over fucking. You just have to bite the bullet and take Legacy, right? You just have to. Like, you but the problem like is Legacy is going to play like Lin Vision in the O3. What's this uh, confidence in Lin Vision winning a game? That's coming from fucking Chad because he will need What's, some hope. Who do, they, who, who, do they, who do you have them win? Who <laughs> do you have them beating? Pain? Trash. I'm out here trying to spin propaganda. Can you not fucking call me oh, out? I understand getting... that. They're getting free old, they're getting body. No, I think I home, think boss. like okay, realistically... back to Lin Vision. Back to Lin Vision. 
<laughs> Wait, so you think, okay, so, if pa- but okay, hold on. I think it's Lin Vision and Vision, I understand, I understand if, what you're talking about. If Pain beat Lin Vision, then it's Lin Vision versus Legacy. And I think Lin Vision will win that game. So we should put Legacy over and free, right? That's what I'm would saying, you, Legacy yeah. or Koi. Would you, why, why are you smiling? Would you not so take we, Lin Vision over just put... Legacy? So, okay, so let's, let's, let's all pick two zero three teams. Oh, God. And then... Whoever has the most votes will go into the zero three. All right, well, I pick <laughs> I pick Koi and Legacy. Um, I pick Legacy and Lin Vision. I have two <laughs> Legacy. <laughs> In place, Lin Vision. Are you writing it down, Koi. Chad? Yeah, I'm writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> no. What are you, what are you Who you, you got, bro? One of I the got votes. Vision and Koi. Hey, but he's done that just so I have the deciding vote, the bastard. Like, who who has what votes? Can I scuff? It doesn't matter. No, just, no, just, just say what you think. You, you just have to say, say what, what you think. think. Who are going to be the two zero three teams? How am I the one getting stitched up here? <laughs> oh. You're not. You're not. I am because I I have decided. I was like, oh, smooth your things and fucking legacy will go on free. Like just this say is the bullshit. two zero three teams, and then we'll add up the scores. We haven't. I haven't paid attention to how much who has, so I don't even know. Fucking legacy and someone else, man. Legacy <laughs> and Koi. Fuck okay. So okay. So legacy and Koi both have equal votes. Okay. Legacy and Lindsay. <laughs> what? No, but we just then we they all to, have equal votes. No, okay, we need fine. to now we'll vote there. again. We'll Let's Koi and to... Lin Vision. So do no. we just need to do one team or what? Legacy and Lin Vision. Thank Lucas you. will get the final say. <laughs> Lucas gets the total one. Lucas Koi or Legacy. No, right? it's between Legacy and Lin Vision. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Just ask chat. Uh, Lucas. Uh, 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 Both of them. Uh, Guys, one in chat. Sorry, I one... think it's Koi. In chat. For... Koi, 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 Koi. Two in chat for. But we we didn't give you that option though. The, he gave you like he, a seer lid yeah. he, he put his foot down. He put his foot down. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Is, I'm calm. He's also he's also controlling this whole thing. So Koi it is Koi it is 03. You can't There's a lot of people typing a lot of numbers. <laughs> yeah. There's numbers that I didn't put in the demographic. There's a couple of threes and falls in there. All right, all right. Who's going 3 0? Who's going 3 0? Cloud nine. Wait, who has the like, let me see, the easiest matchup in the first couple of rounds, maybe? I'm just looking at the edge of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think it looks like Eternal Fire, maybe, man. The winner of Cloud Nine they're gonna have like... in the second game will go free. Uh, because the Eternal Fire have like, okay, I mean, the Mongols one isn't like so it's obvious, but they would have Saw next. It's absolutely not the easiest. How is that easier than Cloud Nine playing Ecstatic, Furia, and Apex? I have Heroic that's, that's... in the last one, but I don't, I don't know. know. Heroic, okay, I have okay. Heroic, Heroic beating over. Apex. I also okay. put Heroic beating okay, Apex, okay, and they would have okay, Heroic okay. then, and that's harder than Ants. Yeah, like agree. it's Mong- Mongols saw Ants, it would be the run, which I feel like is better than Ecstatic, Furia, Heroic. It's easier. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to Eternal Fire. You think the middle about... teams are easier? I like Heroic, Heroic, like Heroic 3 0. Heroic 3 0. Heroic 3 0. Damn. Mm. Not bad, eh? They have Apex and they would have Apex. Lin Vision, round. Apex, two Cloud rounds. Cloud Nine. You think they beat Cloud Nine? They could. You said they're going Cloud Nine going three zero. No, I just realized they are playing heroic. So, oh, okay. I, I mean, think, look, I, I think are going to be favorites, bad. like favorites in every game of that. At least slight favorites in every game. We uh, the Cloud Nine heroic, I'm not so sure. We haven't seen the Tunnel Five go into games as favorites, though, right? True. I feel like they've always been like the. Yeah. Maybe they can screw for a win. And like, I feel like the pressure may get to them. They have a lot of rookies on the team that we're forgetting about. Yeah. People that but again, like, they haven't lost while. to anybody. They haven't lost to anybody outside of the top five now. Top six, sorry. For now. For, I don't know, a few months. So I feel I, like. You just say it's on fire. But it's, I mean, the free is always kind of like the one that you don't really have to pay too much attention, right? You can just throw anyone in. You, the rest well, of the team you should be able to get. It. People yeah, cheese it. People yeah. cheese it and just put some, put some like, out, outside. Mongols yeah. Sort. Or, like you say, like someone would team. put like a cloud nine here, right? Because like, because this. But is the do thing. we want to do we want to play the game or do we want to actually get it right? You want to get all. But of them but, right. but, but you I, have, I would no. rather play to get them all right than just yeah. try yeah. to cheat cheat the game. That's how you end up not making the diamond. Card, the, I don't care. Fuck, this is my principle. <laughs> Fuck off, man. This is my principle. Pick-ups, I like. I like okay, okay, right, okay. Stupid. Okay? There, I said it. Pickups is. No, you dumb. didn't say that. Oh my god, Chad. What? How can you say that, Chad? All right. Ef three o. All right, yeah, don't okay. say that. Here we so I'm gonna go with let's now we just have to pick what the next bunch of teams that are gonna qualify. Yeah, Furia. Yeah. So... I mean, okay, we have. I think we can all agree on heroic, heroic, on yeah. heroic. heroic. I Cloud guess we nine. have to put Cloud Nine through Cloud Nine. 
You Mongols? Have to. You have to put ends through. This is the I'm looking at the rest now. Like, look now at the, the teams there. It's ends. Nine right? pandas. And, Chill out. Uh, Let's what the... Mongols? Apex, Apex Furious. I mean, Mongols, Mongols. Mongols, I would put, yeah. I think they are. They stand out. How I... many do you need to get? Five. Five points, right? Yeah, I think it's it does, five. Well, it doesn't really matter so much. I think there's too many boxes. It does. Here, right? it, 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 <laughs> two, Which four, means it doesn't really, <laughs> no, it doesn't no, really matter. No, 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 this is not. a joke is because right. like teams are too bad <laughs> <laughs> to go through. No, 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 no. no. They are, do we have the right? So it's seven. Do we think Sorg on? Sure. Sorg through. Sure. Okay. I think. Sure. Yeah, I think. Fury and Apex wise, have to make. There's it. like. That's the two teams I'm looking at. Imagine all those teams in the bottom line there, and it's like best of three. Okay, hope for God they don't play each other, but it's like. Fury should beat the rest of those teams in the West of Fury. Apex I also like I also like Apex. I think they were looking up. Fury, aside from the major, well, the RMR looked dog shit for no, like six I, months. I also think that no, uh, Fury. Yeah, and at the RMR they played insane. No, yeah, they played okay, and they beat the two best teams there, which is fine. But they've been dog shit for so long. If if we were just going with logo like of the the best teams, it would look like this. I mean, it would definitely it, be Apex it would, Fury. It would just yeah. look like that if we were just going with the teams that like, that would. That's a that's a pretty safe. That's going to get you to picks. the next the next stage. That's going to get you the five. That's going to get you the five like, points. You think? Yeah. yeah. Unless I mean, we get the three zero zero three wrong and something fucking funky happens. So Ooh, I think I, I, because I feel this is the thing, right? Like this could we could debate this and go on for a very long time. But why don't we just like. Because the three zero and the zero three, we're trying to get this right, right? And the rest yeah. are kind of more like safe picks on who we think should win out with the right. The, well, let's be the, the tryout then, and let's open up the fucking calculator and go through every game and think who's going to win. Let's we're not gonna, do that. Yeah, no, 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 I mean, no, no, if we're trying to if we're trying to play the game properly, let's play no, the fucking it is, game. No, it is impossible to get it all right, and one result fucks everything okay, out of the. Let, out give of, me one, like, give me but one second. It is impossible. Yeah, give me one I, second. I, I want to do this though. I want to do this. Out of the teams remaining, Amcal, Linvision, Ecstatic, Imperial, Legacy, Nine Pandas, and Pain. Which one of those names do we think could eke out a spot? I think that is an out of interesting the rest, Out of the rest, down, down Out of the there. rest, which is the most interesting of the remaining names? Amcal. I hate to say it. I think it's Amcal and Nine Pandas. Is it, like ecstatic? I'm kind of looking at ecstatic. ecstatic Me no, too. No, no, no. No, you don't think so? No. I think Atlan. They're lacking firepower for sure. At for Atlan. Sure. It's what firepower is what kills teams. Because at LAN, it doesn't matter if you have the most insane strats. It's if some guy comes to your bomb site, is he killing two? That's all that matters. It's like anchors are just winning CT sites alone right now on LAN. That's why Spirit, when they're winning, if you can't kill Donk, don't worry. You've got Magis fucking orping beyond Anubis for no reason. Chopper's getting more kills out of his ass. Like, it's <laughs> fucking. That's why they destroyed everyone. Okay, so who's the strongest individual team then? It individuals because like it probably am Carl. You could argue uh, Imperial too. I think they have some Imperial. really strong individuals. I like have a hard time committing Vinian. to Imperial because we haven't seen them against anybody good, and they've just been they stomped the RMR, but they didn't it's, play anybody good there either. Just do it backwards, right? I wouldn't say Lin Aesthetic. I would not say Legacy, and I wouldn't, wouldn't say, say Pain. Pain. No. So it's the other two. I'm Nine pandas, I'm Cal. We already had that conversation once, yeah. guys. <laughs> so if, it, if the conversation was Nine Pandas or Amcal, that's Obviously probably a reasonable Amcal. place to leave it, right? I, I would say that's I mean, fair. look, that's. I can't make a I good would, enough argument would, over anybody here. I would honestly choose either of those teams over Furia, but okay. really, yeah. I think you don't have Furia going through. I think Furia. No. They looked. They looked better in. They looked better in the in the RMR, that but obviously crazy. the opponents were weaker. But they look like they knew. That, this sounds insane to say. They look like they had a game plan on Inferno, in the Americas RMR. And I know Holy that fuck. seems like that should be base level, but for Fury on Inferno, usually they look like they're lost. I'm just okay, looking at just... like I'm just looking at the Fury's results, right? Like regardless of 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 the. Year like I test or whatever, like the teams that they lost to are basically twice spirit at Bud Boom. They play Mongols and Apex at, at Karavitsa play, yeah. which <laughs> actually two teams that ended up probably better than we expected. Yeah. Then the, the Mete Sport losses in the last premier qualifiers. The, yeah. Like also a team that's that's obviously better than we expected, but that's maybe what brings it down. Then 9Z loss in like the South America Coast qualifier, and then they beat... Nouns liquid complexity in the America's, America's armor, like 
not like they they lost two shitters apart from the the the, I just think the close way qualifier or whatever. Like, look at the indiv- they have fucking okay. Fallen's a little bit up and down. Chase Rado, but... Yuri are very good. Yeah, Cello also can fucking bang when he, he and he didn't play game. that well in the Americas. Like, I think he play will play better on land in that type of well, it was on land, but yeah. I think in that type of environment when they're fired up. Look, here's the thing, and this goes back to the same thing with the power ranking. We could be here all night. We could literally sit here discussing all the different options. We can go through all of these things. The whole point of what we do here at HLTV Confirm is either to bring you some news, to discuss a hot topic, to maybe give you a peek behind the curtain, or to have a chit chat about Counter-Strike and Theorycraft as talking heads and occasionally knees about what might happen. Are we gonna be right 100% of the time? No. Are we usually wrong 100% of the time? Yes, but that's half the fun. We're just here to look and talk and discuss Counter-Strike and what we're expecting and what we're not expecting. And that's why I just said peek behind the curtain. Smooya is now gonna leak three rosters. Go Smooya. Chat Hello? just like disconnect from this. What happened? No, okay, never mind. You're Hello? Just, I, I had the prof. What happened? No, you're good. What the hell is that orange? He said, didn't he, he said a bunch of what things. What just happened? No? Did you Pre- lag out? Pre- Did I lag like out? Pre- I heard. Uh, you, he, you, he already said everything. I don't know if people heard at home, but he definitely said. <laughs> Would you guys not hear that? No, he's definitely like <laughs> He's actually lagging out. <laughs> Who? Okay, leak three rosters now. Chad, Chad's out. Uh. Pretty rust as well. Nip, nip one looks fun. That is, he- that is heavy god. That mm-hmm. is mango G's. That is art frost. A potential free. Potential Next free. Roster. I thought I thought you were very confident about this roster just uh, five minutes ago. Oh no, I'm, I mean it's potential. We'll say potential. Potential. Uh, over rosters, ITB maybe plus Thomas plus Muya. You never know. Maybe nip. Maybe maybe plus blame F plus SDY plus Muya. You never know. Again, potential. A lot of potentials. Uh, Greyhound. Who's, fa- who's Falcons getting? That's the question. That's From simple. Salman K13. Who is Falcon? I actually have no idea. I Falcons think they is not getting support, anybody but... until they're until they're the majors over and they know their options. So Falcons get blame F. <sighs> yeah, that would be a good replacement for Boros. The really aggressive entry fragger to the really aggressive. But entry Boros wasn't fragger. really doing that because Modern was <laughs> Modern's the entry in this team. I mean, now, they so. they need like a CT rotator. And that's blame F, so he can oh, do that. Oh, mama. There wasn't enough space for Simple in the team. I'd blame F. Let's go, Benjamin. Make it, bro, blame will make any team better, but yeah. I'm, I'm sorry I lagged out, everybody. Um, Did you miss the teams? Yeah, like, I missed no. it all. But I'm glad that you told everybody. He that's said where JKS crazy. is going, by the way. So. Oh, God, sorry, I actually it. know where Justin's going. Oh, Where's my he going? God. What a team. Uh, when you like fall off a bike and you scrape your knee, and you're like, ah, sometimes you bleed, you know? It's a bit fucking, it hurts a little bit. Some of rust like that, I think. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's bleed, actually. Injury esports? It's really... I think that uh, hopefully Justin's not streaming his practice. That's all I'm saying, because then his coach <laughs> might get fucking mad <laughs> and make a tweet on him. Uh, can I, well, I don't, wanna, I don't say anything about Justin anymore, so he could be going anywhere. Who knows? Um, at the moment, all we can't even win face it games. Um, all right. Cool. Well, are we done? So you're going to go play Counter-Strike now? Are you going to stream? I literally need to go fucking stream, yeah. Because we can host show. I don't there's know no, there's no there. FPL popping, though. What, at 9 o'clock at night? You know, it's it desperate when Glaive types, when open queue. That's how you know FPL is looking for players. Well, Glaive's thirsty to play, you know? All right. Um, okay. Thank you. Well, let's let's wind this down. I just want to do another shout out regarding the uh, HLTV confirmed live show from Copenhagen. Um, if you guys want to check that out, there's been some tweets from the HLTV confirmed uh, Twitter about it. And I will, one second. Uh, we can spam the link in chat again for everybody playing at home, but you can head over to eventbrite.com uh, and you can search the HLTV event there. There it is, Prof spamming it. If you're in Copenhagen, mm-hmm. if you're there for the major, if you'd be interested to come to a live show, come and check it out. Uh, we tend to try and get players to come. We try and get other members of the broadcast to come and try and make it a fun evening where we sit and we do exactly this uh, in a bit of a different environment. And we tend to hang around after and have a bit of a chit chat to everybody who's there. Um, and there's a bunch of regulars who have been coming to quite a few of our live shows, which is great to see familiar faces. I'm sure some of the Danes, uh, which we've seen from time to time, will be back in action at another show. So thank you, everybody. Um, and again, uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in. And uh, the sponsors, Trader.gg, for the uh, skinnier segment, they sponsored that one. And uh, of course, 22Bet, remember to gamble responsibly. Smoo, you got anything you want to say to the people? 
the last time I did this, I shout out my sponsors. They were all conflict of interest. So I will not do that. Uh, <laughs> thank you. So the sponsors of the show, they're not my sponsors, but thank you for help providing a great show, great content for everybody. Um, I'm Carlo and I'm Pandas, man. Right. Well, we'll host you soon, Smear Prof. Strike I don't think I'm going to stream. Could you stream someone, uh, host someone instead, like for me? Yeah, potentially. Yeah. It's, Depends uh, on who it is. She's on, she's on pools and hot tub right now. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. Just trying to get myself into a girl. Well, like, yeah, audience, girl, my friend just hosted you. Our audience is in the demographic, so that's that's no, probably just, fine. They're probably loving just, it. Just for fear. He's playing some Facebook with his team. It'd be nice. All right, we can do that. I don't think I'm going to stream because you guys have cooked my brain listening to all this this intense high-level talk. Thank so you for your words. Will you be at the major? Right? Not playing, He's obviously. So far. <laughs> yeah, you could be playing. <laughs> he might be someone fucking 60. Uh, maybe the fucking show match. I, I have been... Where is it again? It's soon, no? Like the actual... It's like a month or something, or three weeks. Yeah, the the, the weekend of the 31st. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll stop by. But last, every time I go, I, I always leave it too late to get like a ticket and or like a pass. And then I'm just like sat outside like, help me, help me. I, I hate it. So maybe, I don't know. If huh. I go, I'll let you know though. And we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll repeat that Sweden video. Me and you, prof. We'll go, <laughs> night. we'll go get crazy. Are you know. looking around, Chad? Sorry? It's you looking around like you don't know what's going on. You I'm looking over this. here. This is the monitor where I can see all of you. When I'm looking here, I can only see Twitch chat. Okay. Yeah. That, that I need a microphone arm. Fair. 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 Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good night. And uh, we'll see everybody in the next episode of Hatred TV Confirmed sometime during the major. Peace. Sports odds, VIP program, and a variety of bonuses. Fast and easy withdrawals. Bet on every possible CS:GO matching tournament, as well as any other esports game. Only on Twenty Two Bet. Are you tired of your boring old skins? Head to Trade It and trade them for exciting new ones within seconds. With 24-7 support, massive inventory, free giveaways, and low fees, Trade It is the highest rated trading platform in the market. What are you waiting for? Start trading today for a $5 bonus, only on Trade It.